All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, once again, we're in the new year. Welcome, happy new year, you know, all the stuff. We're back with Drew again. What's up, Drew? Not too much. Uh, Look at this artwork we're season. looking at. Yeah, some some seems different here. I can't quite put my <laughs> yeah. finger on it. Kind of weird. Ezreal might be taller. That might I be think what that's it what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have got like a new glove or something. But uh... yeah, 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 yeah. That's. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're we're back in New Year's. This is gonna be the the season of what fourteen. Whew. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, but yeah, we're doing forty point one patch notes today. Kick us off. Pretty exciting. So, uh, first thing you're gonna notice here. Not too many uh, champion changes. But, <laughs> we got a buff uh, for over in. Over in this area, Ayo. quite a bit, quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I have not looked I at any we'll of just... the item stuff or uh, yeah, many of the Same. changes. So, yeah, cool. I have a feeling we'll spend that. That'll be where we spend a lot of time. But yeah, uh, we'll go here first. Let's see. This where are we? Starting right. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, down, down. There in A one, I think. An A one. An A yeah. an A one. January tenth, seven, 7 PST, so that's PST. Ten AM yeah. EST. I think so. If yeah, you're on yeah. PST. Yeah. Should be. Cool. Um I think that's also when the uh cinematic comes out. Yes, I think so, yeah. That's awesome. So that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yes. Uh and uh Big Pog. I guess we just uh, get into we're gonna go through all the gameplay changes. If you've yeah. been under a rock or something um they've changed everything quieter? yeah <laughs> if you've been under a rock you haven't seen these guys <laughs> yeah they yeah. look kind of interesting um <laughs> yeah so let's see i guess the first one that's on here is void grubs yeah. um you want to talk about void grubs yeah let's do it okay uh well, there's a little gif of them so <laughs> let's see here's some of the I don't right, know so if you want to read all this. Or uh, you let's just like go with the highlights a little bit. Yeah, yeah so we got yeah, yeah, yeah. scroll up a tiny bit. It says void grubs spawn at five minutes into the game. Yes. Uh, each void grub spawns four, four void mites every 12 seconds in combat. Void grubs can respawn once per game as each one has their own individual respawn timer of four minutes. Okay. Um, so feel free to just take one and walk away. On death, void grubs yep. will give other nearby void grubs a 25% maximum health plus 25 percent missing health shield that decays over 10 seconds so kind of like old chickens if i remember correctly yeah that's sort of. right um but yeah okay anyways um killing one void grub grants the player and allied teammates one stack of hunger of the void buff which causes your non-proc attacks to deal bonus true damage to structures over four seconds the damage will scale with the number of void grubs slain at a rate of four for melee or three for ranged true damage every 0.5 seconds per stack so it's a little quick math there but yeah um basically eight times right yeah yeah, yeah eight yeah, times yeah. whatever that number is so all right it's a decent amount uh once your team hits five stacks of the buff you will spawn one void bite to help when attacking towers 15 second cooldown um, at six stacks, the amount of void mites is increased to two. What six stacks? Of... Okay. 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 Uh, void yep, mites yep, yep, yep. summoned by players have the same stats as a melee minion, but with forty percent less health and fifty percent more move speed. Okay. Okay. Void grows to spawn at thirteen forty-five, just before turret plates fall off, uh, or thirteen fifty-five if they are in combat, and to make way for the rift herald. First void grub taken per spawn group will count as an epic takedown reward for the first one you participate in killing. For example, Chogath can get one epic monster stack from the first void grub he kills in the first spawn group, and then one more if he kills a void grub that spawned in the second group. Okay, so they're... Okay. That's how they differentiate the in, like unique ones, I guess. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. The void grubs that spawn at five minutes are the first spawn group, and the ones slaying the void grubs that replace them are the second spawn group. Okay. That's kind of interesting, but okay, gotcha. So it sounds like uh, it's going to be really important not to let... Because there's six total, So because there's three yeah, and then yeah. three more. Yep, yep. So it sounds like five, like killing five of them is the magic number. 
because you you start to spawn the little guys as you hit towers. Yeah, pretty much. So, pretty much. So you really don't want someone to get five or six. So it sounds like as long as you yeah. can stop a team from getting five or six, you're you're gonna be pretty okay. But, um. So hmm. I but I guess the does that mean the uh, they like stop spawning every fifteen seconds or I don't know. So wait, what? Once your team hits five, you will spawn to help when attacking towers. Fifteen second cooldown on that. So I guess when you attack a tower, then it spawns one. And then... Yeah, I think those like these little dudes that they throw yeah. off of them. So when you're like hitting a tower, it'll throw one of them off of you to help attack the tower. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Just so it's like a like tower. a pushing like a like a pushing uh buff, yeah like basically. a ZZ rod or something kind of yeah yeah, like... yeah 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 kind of kind okay. of yeah interesting and then but but that that's like buff just stops happening right around 14 minutes then or is it with you for the rest of the game that's what I'm, i kind of wonder it doesn't really explain that but... yeah i think the buff i don't know it might last it probably last to only 14 minutes i think that'd be kind of broken if it lasted longer <laughs> yeah but i guess we'll find out let's see void Garp's gonna be on death yeah i'm not sure um it would be kind of busted if it was a permanent buff for the yeah. entire game, but... But okay, anyways, uh, uh, so there's stats. Do yeah. you want to run through those real fast? Yeah, um, yeah, we'll run through it. So we, it's hard to compare them because like, this is the first appearance of them, but yeah, um, each of those little guys are going to have 250 health. Um, so it'll be like the most tanky. Um they do 10 attack damage. They don't have armor or magic resistance. They don't okay. attack that fast, 0. 0.5. Yeah, okay. Um, and their attack range is 500. So um, they give a little bit of XP, 75. And they give a little bit of gold. So I think they'll be pretty... Obviously, we'll have to see in-game, but I feel like they'll yeah. they'll die pretty quickly. Well, it seems like they'll die pretty quickly. It says per minute of game time. Does that mean, since they spawn at five minutes, does that mean they start with that times five as well? Or do they just, oh, just spawn with 250? I don't know. Good question. Yeah, actually, if they spawn with this plus this times five, then then it's a little bit... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, they'll be a little tankier, actually, so, so they won't just, like... Yeah. I guess since it's I feel like it must be that. it's not too bad, but yeah, that's yeah. it's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, and then the little void might say they are not all that tanky. They only have twenty plus forty minutes per game timer, um, <laughs> so they don't have that much health. Yeah, yeah. They Makes honestly sense. they don't hit they don't hit that hard. Um, but I think the idea is you spawn a bunch of them and just like wail on the tower because these will only you know like. Well, this one says kinda... when summoned by Void Grub, so these are only the ones that we, that we are attacking the uh, the do, camp, it looks like. Do you think they'll have different stats? I think so. When... But maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Yes, summons Void Mites. Oh, uh, Void Mites summoned by players have the same stats as Melee Minion. Okay. So yeah, oh, they yeah, have different yeah, stats right. when yeah, you yeah. summon them in lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, cool. That's right, you did say that. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, so... Be on the lookout for these little guys. Yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, I wonder yeah, how hard they'll cool. be. I, I, like, they've kind of suggested that they're going to be kind of like difficult to kill a bunch at the same time, but um, we'll see. <laughs> well, I feel like if you can fast clear all three, it's really dangerous because it'll be easy to get like that permanent buff. Yeah, yeah. Or that semi-permanent buff. So, <laughs> yeah. Look at this bad boy. Um, all right, let's see what's up with revamped Rift Herald. So uh, let me look at these highlights here. Um, <laughs> so Rift Herald is back. Um, Going to come up after the Void Grub period. Uh, he yep, looks yep. a little bit, little bit more corrupted there. Yeah. Um, so if you're an ally, summon the Rift Herald. Um, so this is obviously after, you, after you've taken the eye. So mm -hmm. if you're an ally, summon the Rift Herald. One player can right click on the herald to hop in or to hop on to Shelly. Um, and then right clicking in any direction will allow the player to pick where the herald will start charging. And then you can basically drift it like a scion ultimate. Or if yep. you've played um what is the cart? I think this is called cart in uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nexus Blitz. Yep, yep. Um it's basically that that mechanic, which is super interesting. Yeah, um, it's kinda OP. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely a new twist to Summoner's Rift for sure. Um, so the Rift Herald receives one use of charge when summoned, uh, which is consumed as soon as player hops in to the Herald, um, or when the Herald automatically charges towards a tower unpiloted. Uh, in the event of an enemy nearby tower is uh, destroyed, the Herald will receive additional charge. Um, cool. The uh, charge lasts up to 14 seconds, starting at 150 movement speed, and it ramps up. So it really is going to feel similar to like a Scion alt. So it like ramps up in terms of speed mm, um, okay. over five seconds. Uh, this charge will end upon collision of a structure or terrain. Uh, reducing the Herald's health by 66%, ejecting the player's 200 units plus their attack range uh, in the opposite direction of the charge. Uh, in the event that the Herald's charge hits a live tower, the injection distance is increased to 700. Uh, so basically, slams into the tower or terrain, and then it's going to send the players inside the Herald, like flying basically in the opposite direction. Mm, um, so that would be, be pretty funny to see. Um, let's see. If a player steals the Herald through an enemy champion or enemy minions, the enemy will receive 250 true damage and get knocked airborne. Um, so Yasuo is going to like that. <laughs> another, another airborne mechanic there for, for Yasuo. Mm -hmm. Um, if a player steals the Rift Herald into an enemy structure, um, a bonus 2000 damage will be dealt to the structure. So I'm assuming... Or more, actually. yeah. Or more, yeah. So I'm assuming that's probably... Because it talked about towers up here. Yeah, it talks about towers here. Yeah, so I guess this applies... Toward to... Charging the enemy tower. Yeah, towards towers. And then you deal like just a ton bonus. of damage. Is this bonus on top of the other damage? Or is this just like telling you how much damage it does to structures now? kind of wonder a bonus 2000 it says bonus so i'm assuming it's on top which yeah. is kind of crazy which i think is what it actually does yeah. mean i think of what it yeah yeah that's yeah, crazy um, okay, it's like 3500 damage ish yep. casual casual <laughs> um rift Herald. this is a new another i feel like all this is new why is oh, this one void mines will be spawned is... also oh yeah uh Plus, player, yep. many stacks you have to attack the tower and the player will gain a temporary shield cool Okay, nice. Um, Rift Herald now has Baron's Gaze, which reduces damage taken from the last enemy attacked by 50%. Um, that is... That's basically so it's harder to solo it, essentially, like in the pit. Oh. So like if you're... you Because know, you, could, you could pretty easily solo it if you like danced around him, but you're going to do less damage if you're the only one hitting the Rift Herald That's kind of crazy, yeah. So I mean, you're you're gonna need to like coordinate with if you're the jungler, you're gonna need like probably one of your laners to come probably, and like yeah. to like take it quickly. Um huh, now recall, that's the same. Um Oh actually it's the same, but a little bit better because now all ally champions who oh. assist in killing the herald gain one single use of empower recall. So that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Um, that's actually really big because if you think, you know, when you group up to take the Herald, like if you're the bot lane and you rotate up, yep, yep. Now, really now nice. you can help take it, empower recall, <laughs> and get back the lane. Like you don't lose your entire, yeah. yeah so that's, that's pretty really nice. good. I like that. Um, yep, like that. Uh, it also punishes the other team if they don't, like if everyone shows up to it, the team that gets it, they're going to get back to lane like so much quicker. So that's pretty big deal, I feel like. Um, sharing gold, Rift Herald grants any gold it gets from towers or turret plates to the player that summoned them, uh, even if they weren't around. To Rift Herald grants any gold it gains from turrets and tower plates to all champions who assisted in killing the Herald. Okay, so that's gotcha. interesting cool. too. So if you assisted in the original taking, you'll get some gold when it hits a tower, that's no matter where you're at. Yeah, um, I kind of like it, I guess. Yeah. And then auto cast upon a expiring the eye of the herald auto cast with no channel time. Oh, some that's of the so cool, actually. Yeah. So it it, you know it might anymore. not be the might not be the most ideal location, but uh, <laughs> it will it will 
Yeah. Oh, and even if you're dead, it spawns in your fountain. Wow, that's yeah. so nice, actually. Yep. Yeah, because you figure if it spawns in the fountain, it gives someone a chance to jump in it and, yeah. and like still do something with that's it. True. So. Cool. And then um, all of the stats, as far as like having to kill it, are the same. Um, okay, cool. But keep in mind, like we said, this little Baron's yeah. gaze is there so even though the stats are changed he's going to be way harder to kill if you're by yourself so just yeah be yeah that. definitely i wonder if the 50 uh, percent reduced damage it counts as well as the uh eye proc on the back of them Ooh, probably because it seems like it would yeah because this is damage but... like all damage taken so yeah. it feels like so it should yeah, yeah that's kind of crazy as well interesting yeah all righty um let's see what else that uh who is this guy? Born is this blue Sentinel, buff? Brambleback, and Scuttler. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, mine's a blue buff, so. Terrain's a little different hit. also. All right, yeah, let's oh, do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, once Band Nasher emerges onto the rift at 20 minutes, the next time Blue Sentinel and Red Bramblebacks respawn, they will rise again as Voidborn Sentinel and Voidborn Brambleback, respectively, with 30% more health. Transformation also comes with increased durability, making them harder to take down, but fret not, because this extra effort is worth it. Now, once again... Uh, or sorry, once slain, blue and red buff will grant their buffs to the entire team of the player that takes them down, excluding any allies that were dead. Um, also getting some changes to the buffs. Uh, so the Crest of Insight, the blue buff, uh, was a scaling 5 to 20 ability haste, and now it's just 10 haste. Or it just says haste, maybe it's more than abilities, but yeah. Uh, Crest of Cinders, blue, red buff was scaling 0 to 5 0 0.5 to 5% 5 max health regen it's now 0 to 5 to 3% on base 1 levels 1 4 and 6 not not all the way up to level 11 so they're getting rid of the 5% max health regen that's kind of big and then the buffs become void boy the no longer transfer to opponents upon the owner's death oh wow that's kind of crazy mainly to prevent giant messes with everyone having buffs all the time yeah that makes sense yeah, since wow. you'll get buffs on your whole team once yeah, they're exactly. void born. Um, yeah, it would be weird to to then transfer. Yeah, that that would be weird. That's kind of interesting. Just, uh, okay. Yeah, I feel like that'll wow. um, that'll definitely accelerate the mid game. I feel like. I think so. Yeah. With everyone cool. having those buffs. Um, yeah. Super interesting. For non uh... non void related update. As well yes. for those. Draconic, Sentinel, and Brambleback. These versions appear once the Elemental Rift is locked in as the second Drake is slain. Uh, unlike their Voidborn counterparts, though, they no respawn is required for the buff to become Draconic. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, oh, interesting. Oh. Uh, upon death, Draconic, Sentinel, and Brambleback will give the champion that slayed them a version of their respective buff um, and drop a duplicate of their buff at their original spawn location. Only one buff will be shareable with allies, while the other must be claimed by an ally champion with a jungle item in their inventory. So that's unchanged versus what live is. Okay. Draconic. Yeah. So that's 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 like uh, how it's been rolling, I suppose. Okay. Starting at 20 minutes, once slaying the Draconic Grand Grab and Sentinel will respawn as their Voidborn counterparts. Uh, okay, so Voidborn again. And then blue and red buff sharing mechanics are no longer tied to jungle item progression. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Uh, look at this little guy. I know. He's got a freaking skin. <laughs> yeah, it's Scuttle Crab skin. All right. Good. 20 minutes. Scru Scuttler rises once. Uh, what is this again after being slain? Shall we avoid Boyden Scuttler? When sla she. Okay. We have a gender. No. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. When slain, vo Void uh, Scuttler will send out a massive Scryer's Bloom effect. Okay, when slain. It's revealing all champions and wards in a large surrounding area, similar to a Scryer's. All wards revealed that this way will be reduced to 1 HP. Okay, so yeah, it's just a Scryer's Bloom. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then uh, last but not least for the Void changes. Yeah, uh, go this for big it. Guy. This bot, bad Let's boy. Uh, saw him in the... Uh the cover art there too so hey, he's got um, three yeah. forms look at that he does he does so it wouldn't be a void related change without baron nasher himself <laughs> uh it's been quite a while since baron last received a visual update let alone one with three new terrifying forms uh we'll introduce them from left to right uh on the left we have the all-seeing baron this dude with the uh the eye right there Makes sense uh we've got the hunting baron he's the guy with the horn 
and then the territorial baron uh i want to say like the normal looking one because he yeah but just really the one without anything, anything else different <laughs> yeah anything fancy on him basically so um Let's see. Baron Dance is one as old as time, but over the years, Baron fights have gotten somewhat stale uh, with players being able to hyper-optimize every aspect of it. Um, it's also not aged well as our premier epic monster. Um, the kind of monster that says that makes you say, wow, that's an epic monster. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, our goal here is to update the visuals while freshening up his fight a bit and using new terrain and spells so that it takes a bit of new mastery and adaptability game to game. Um, so each of these forms is kind of slightly different. So they don't just look different. Um, I wish I would have just kept it in the order. So, um, okay, let's see, make this not yeah. confusing. So this guy, yeah. the all seeing Baron, uh, so he summons the rift towards the two furthest and, or he summons rifts towards the two furthest enemies he can see within 2200 units. Okay. Um, these last for three seconds and deal 150 magic damage on first hit and 50 damage for every uh, sub subsequent subsequent hit? yeah subsequent yes my brain lagged there you're good you're subsequent good. hit um, so basically he's gonna target probably like backline I guess because it's the ones that are furthest away interesting um, so he's gonna shoot but out kind of like how many times like, does it hit a second though. It says three, these last for three last seconds, for three deal seconds. 150 magic damage on first hit and 50 damage for every other hit. So, yeah, I'm not sure how much it will, like, tick in yeah, that three seconds. Yeah, maybe it's like a Morgana so, yeah. W, or maybe it's like an auto attack type of thing. I don't True. know. True. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, that guy, all seen Baron, is going to really target the backline mm. damage, it seems like. All um, right. So then in the middle, we've got the Hunting Baron. So he calls a Pillar of Lightning over every nearby enemy. Um, after 0.7 seconds, the Lightning strikes, delayed by 0.1 second per strike. These deal 15% of target's current health. So he's just going to like nuke wow. your health pool, basically, repeatedly. Uh, cool. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so that could be like really... I feel like this guy... Uh, Ouch! He's gonna really set you up for like a like a party wipe, basically a full team wipe. <laughs> like, Seems like yeah. He's gonna nuke your team, and then the enemies are gonna roll in and just like wipe you. So what be if careful it's with every time he respawns, or like if it's just RNG, or if it yeah, what, if he switches. Forms, That's a good question. That's right. a good question. Maybe just game um, game. Last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mm, like if it's a different one every game, or like every spawn is different. Yeah. 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 Not sure. Uh, Territorial Baron, last guy, mm -hmm. um, he reaches out after 1.5 seconds. He grabs all enemies in a cone and then pulls them 300 units and deals 75 magic damage to them. Wait. So he kind of like sucks. That's sucks just Vile Ma. That's, that's just yeah. Vile Ma. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Good old Vile Ma. So basically, this guy, okay, this guy is Vile Ma. <laughs> Got it. That's kind of crazy, actually. That was yeah, that's like the worst game. part of fighting Wildma actually when Leak she got that update. That's uh Yeah. Okay. I was thinking like these two are gonna be worse, but now I don't I really don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for real. Don't like don't okay. like that at all. Um let's see the stats. Um oh, it's hard to like conceptualize yeah, what this will be in game or what the original one is exactly what the original okay. ones were yeah it doesn't say that they're oh, unchanged i guess it makes sense because they're all new variants but yeah. um i don't know he's gonna have a bunch of health uh and it's gonna grow per minute from game start yeah that's um, easy to see what it is at 20 minutes and then after yep you can pretty easily exactly calculate that and then attack damage can cap at 520 Okay. Okay. So he'll eventually cap out on what he can do to you. Mm. Um, but that might, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack speed 0.625. Uh, he's got a pretty good amount of armor, honestly. Yeah. Uh, magic resistance not quite as much. 70. Um, I don't know why he has a 300 movement speed. What? <laughs> the LOL. I, I don't. I don't like that. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Uh, attack range 955. So he's got a big old attack range. Um, the experience will give 600 to everyone who contributed it, plus 800 among nearby ally teammates. 
And then gold, 25 to the killer, 300 per allied player. Okay. Um, so those are the stats. And then uh, along with, because they mentioned up here, along with each of these uh, guys, the terrain looks slightly different. So our hunting baron, the guy who calls a bunch of lightning down, um, that kind of looks like the normal pit i'd say yeah yeah i think so this might be is this like a is the mouth like a little bit it's i can't tell it, looks the, like it might be a little bit to me but maybe yeah it might be it looks very similar so that looks pretty standard yeah um oh this is the baseline baron pit okay yep i should have just scrolled slightly further okay. <laughs> uh territorial baron oh okay that's the violent that hallway guy. so he's got two little oh. entrances that's evil because I guarantee the cone that he sucks you in is going to be like the width of those <laughs> entrances. I wonder if it's both, though. I don't know. It might oh, just be like one. I don't know what direction he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the vile mall. Depends on the um, cone. Mm -hmm. And then. Now that's this is weird. weird. <laughs> um, huh. This is the worst. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Huh. You know what I see when I see this? Uh, a really great Seraphine. Seraphine. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like a Nami wave or like a Renata yeah. or like pretty much anything you want them like funneled in somewhere. That's yeah. yep, Belkaz. That's, that's looking pretty nice. Yep, Belkaz, yep. sure. Great. Cool. <laughs> all right. So you got that to look forward to. Nice. Um, all righty. So those are the Baron Pit terrain changes, but um, got normal I don't terrain know if we have changes. To, I, these are, yeah, these are probably going to be a lot of pictures. So this is topside. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll leave the picture up for a second. Um, yes, yeah, so you can't gank the red side as easily anymore unless you're coming around the back. Yeah, uh, but blue side's like about the same actually, really. And then of course the pixel yeah. brush is a new addition. And... It's like a bit, a bit, yeah, it's like centered now into the lane. I guess, yeah, centered into the river, basically. Mm -hmm. um, Dry brush is kind of like interesting. Yeah, if it's you, weird. I feel like it's going to be harder to gank top now. It should definitely be, yeah. Let's see what they say about this Glad one. Glad to hear. <laughs> uh, what do they say? Is that what they say in this? Um um, Where... top lane is a constant push and pull um it but for most players the lane simultaneously feels at the mercy of your jungler or roaming support in high skill levels pretty much uh, with yeah. these changes yeah we're reducing the ability of other lanes to affect top lane so yeah that's the idea they're trying to make it more uh 1v1-y um which yeah, I, yeah like I think it'll definitely definitely will um good stuff good okay stuff. Interesting. What do we got here? Mid lane. Uh, so I think the this... bushes are actually pushed back a little bit from what I remember. Yeah, it looks like wider, like basically where the yeah. bushes are. And of course, the entrances to the towers, there's got like that middle one that's like directly yeah. on your tower instead of like being kind of between the mid lane and the tower. Sure. Both sides. Obviously, yeah. it's mirrored. So. Um, I, um,. More, I I, I like Philly the bushes being more moved dangerous. back. I like the bushes. Yeah, because I feel like now someone can't just like jump out of the bush and kill you instantly. Like you'll have a bit more. At least you'll see them for like a second or half a second. Yeah, yeah, you'll see them for like half a second before they kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Feels more dangerous though. I'll, it I'll does. It, it Maybe it does. Some about yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You have a couple more. Huh. Yeah. Very interesting there. Um, okay, yep. bot, bot side. side. What do we got on bot side? It's uh, kind of like mirrored, and you have a pixel brush now as well. Yes, yes. It's more, I'd say, it's more even Yeah. on so both sides. Because it could definitely... get ganked a lot easier than before. Blue is yes. like the one that could get ganked very easily. Red, you are feeling pretty safe, unless there was like a cane or like a weird wall champion on yep. the other team. Exactly. Now, exactly. 
yeah now it's a lot more a and lot you can more also, risky yeah you can also walk uh right up into uh into like red sides jungle there with through that try that exists now but mm-hmm. otherwise you had to walk mm-hmm. all the way around that whole wall and now the yeah. wall above that is also um like right near the dragon kind of on the opposite side of the dragon that wall is uh uh the upper one to the right a little bit kind of towards the top of the the picture oh okay yeah, yeah one, this one there's no like direct entrance from red into dragon um you have to oh true down, so you kind of have up. to come yep interesting so yeah because before you could just like bomb yeah, rush right, right through perfect here perfect entrance into it as long as you didn't have like something to plug the choke yeah disrupt it yeah yeah yeah. yeah. okay interesting okay i like it i like it (laughs) um and then oh yep this is actually (laughs) this is like a perfect yeah that's a perfect picture of it so there you go yep it'll cut off that and then this is um maybe a bit wider yeah there's no brush on the top side now and then there's a whole swing around that you can walk on the red side and then yeah, there's that bush there as well on the opposite end side now, and that like middle ground that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Rengar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, all right. Cool. Some more terrain changes. Uh, infernal yeah. terrain changes. Oh, okay. So, um, I guess let's see. Terrain changes. Um that we've entered given the train changes that we've introduced, we need to adjust some of the drakes. Um, okay. Cause the drakes changed the train slightly. Um, so for the F- infernal dragon, Oh, they, this seems way different. Um, okay. For infernal dragon, okay. infernal cinders spawn randomly on the map in small groups, uh, with a higher likelihood of spawning towards the losing team. Picking up a naturally spawned Infernal Cinder grants a small burst of movement speed and grants a stack. Okay. Um, the stacks grant ability haste, Ooh, 0.3 wow. ability haste. And then on death, um, you can only hold on to five with oh. the remainder being dropped on the ground um, to be, I guess, picked up by someone some else. Some of the remainder being dropped and the rest being destroyed. What? Okay. <sighs> Interesting. They don't agree with the um, movement speed. Okay, that's weird. All right. There's no picture for that, so it's a little hard to follow. But yeah, or how uh, often it, they spawn and stuff. But yeah, it does say Infernal Rift will no longer destroy walls. Oh. So instead of like okay. I guess like burning out the whole map like it used to, um, it's gonna have this like Cinder mechanic where you pick gotcha. up these little damage little ability haste orbs and i think then... it's fine because they already they already removed a bunch of walls and like changed things around to be more easily accessed so i think it's fine yeah so if you remove like i feel like if they started removing some of the yeah it would be it would weird be so... an open map <laughs> it wouldn't be any yeah. Walls. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> fair um okay interesting um interesting. these are all cool um yeah. i'll be fun to try them out on the live game on the 10th definitely sure. uh cool all right let's get uh, we got the you know the big, the big changes. Um, you want to do Hawaii? 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 Uh, actually, you go for it. Give me one second. Okay. Go for it. Let's see. So Hawaii, um, is our one and only champion, uh, that reaches the patch here. Um, so he is also the new champion. Uh, <laughs> so all they've done is did a little base armor increase. So, um, they went from eighteen to twenty-one. So a little bit more survivability, probably in lane. Right um and yeah I, I i think he's like pretty complicated it seems so i think um, so i think it's a decently leveled mastery curve but to be yeah. honest i haven't been playing that whole lot like normal games and i have not seen it very much so i yeah. really don't know what to expect from him i've only seen him in like arena which is like very fast paced and he gets items quick so yeah sure he sure, seems sure. like pretty strong overall but i don't really know yeah i don't know if you've seen him much um but... I, I uh, only, yeah, pretty much only in uh, Arena as well. Yeah. yeah. But, but uh, yeah, it's okay. kind of a little change. Too. Not too much. Um, jungle adjustments. What's up? What's up with the jungle adjustments? All right, so we got champion bonus damage to non epic monsters. Uh, was going from 42% to 25%. Champion bonus damage. Okay. 
Okay, so it's less damage to non epic monsters, obviously. Or like to the uh, to all the camps, basically, you're gonna do less damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then pet damage per second is going up. It looks like overall, uh, every bonus stuff is unchanged, but the flat it was 15.5. And it's true damage is now it's uh twenty to ninety plus all these it scales off of like everything you own. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, which is cool. And so it's just, you can deal more damage per second to to enemies, which is good. I think the the damage is actually a little bit low personally, but either way, uh, pet damage per second cat versus every monsters is now sixteen to forty. Okay, so the per second cap versus epic monsters, yeah, that's being added now. But um, yeah, all right, cool. And now, <laughs> uh, you know, if you now need... we can get into the actual patch. Um, you need to stretch your legs uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're yeah. watching the video and you need to stretch your legs or uh, you know get a drink of water. This would be this would be the time because uh, this is this is the item changes. Um, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be a long one, guys. As you, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of <laughs> item changes. So I guess let's jump into it with mage items. Okay, um, falling items have been removed. Wait, wait, scroll up a tiny bit. There oh, you go. There you go. Sorry, you're good. Uh, okay, crown of the shattered queen gone. Fine, not a big deal. Everfrost gone. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Leeching leer. What's that? gone Beach and Lear. yeah that that was like it built into yeah something. i think so right okay wait was it no is it no 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 that's not the one that builds into riff maker is it i think it was oh no it was yeah yeah because they they're using the haunted guys now okay anyways yeah demonic embrace gone no so annoying i hate that but oh well uh stopwatch Perfectly timed stopwatch, also gone. Yes, so good. Okay, uh, first up we got Rift Maker. Uh, same. Wait, no, it's now it's three thousand gold. I think it was like thirty two hundred or thirty four hundred before. Uh, gives item recipe is Haunting Guys Finish Finish Codex plus eight hundred gold, eighty ability power, fifteen ability haste, three fifty health. Um, each second combat that's unchanged, I believe. Uh, avoid corruption, the true damage, and then avoid infusion, gain two percent of your bonus health as ability power. So that's that's the same thing as um, uh, demonic embrace passives. So that's being put into Rift Maker now, and then Omnivamp updated with the updated with the following: Omnivamp heals you per, per percentage of damage you deal with reduced effect on minions and monsters. Omnivamp heals you for the full amount with pet or AOE damage. Okay, interesting. All right, your turn. <laughs> Next up, uh, right, this is just like a brand new item, I think. Malignance. Yeah. Uh, think. So 2,800 gold. Um, it's okay. going to build out a lost chapter in Fiendish Codex. Pog. Um, cool, cool, cool. So lost chapter item. Uh, yeah. So it's going to give you 80 ability power, 20 ability haste. Uh, nice little chunk of mana, 600 mana. Um, and then it's kind of special uh, attributes, scorn, gain 20 ability haste for your ultimate. So just ultimate cooldown. Um, okay. And then hate fog. Whenever you damage an enemy champion with your ultimate, burn the ground beneath them for three seconds, dealing 60 plus 6% AP magic damage every second and reducing their magic resistance by one per user level. For as long as they are on the ground. Um, note the radius increases based on damage done. Bunch of math. Um, okay. That's a... How about uh, <laughs> Lux? How about Lux? Yeah. Man, like that. Pretty much. Rumble, yeah, because I'm. I'm yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, radius increases. Okay. So it gets like bigger. I guess the burning like ground yeah, space. Shivana ult W kind of. Almost, yeah. Uh, yeah, it gets like bigger. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. The more damage it does. Weird. Yeah. Um, it's kind of okay. weird they like, burn the ground beneath, not actually running the champion. 
but uh, you know, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this, uh, you know, champion's totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Totally fine. Uh, anyways, all right, Luden's companion. We got a pistol in the game, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Boom. Total cost three thousand gold. Uh, item recipe lost chapter. Let's go. X Tech alternator. Okay, plus seven hundred gold. Ninety ability power. Wow. Uh, twenty ability haste. Six hundred mana. Gain a shot. Charge every three seconds up to a maximum of six. Fire. Uh, load and fire rather. Uh, damaging abilities consume all shot charges to deal an additional forty plus eight percent AP. Magic damage to the target and one additional nearby target per charge. There are insufficient targets in range for each remaining shot. Repeat the damage on the primary target, dealing 35% of the damage. Okay. You just get like a second little damagey thing, kind of, after every ability. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. That's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, yeah. No, it is. It's 3,000, so. It's at the yeah, most. Good for. Oh, uh, yeah, it's similar to Meg. Not yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be, could be good. Um, could definitely be good. Or uh, freaking Cassia, or Rise, maybe. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, um, does it get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Storm Surge. Uh, so this is twenty nine hundred gold. Hmm. Uh, Hex Tech Alternator and an Aether Wisp, and a good chunk of gold will get you this. Gives a hundred ability power, which that might be the most so far. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 100 ability power, 10 magic pen, uh, some movement speed, 5% movement speed, and then its unique powers are uh, Storm, Ra Storm Raider, uh, deal 35% of champions max health within 3 seconds, uh, applies Storm Surge to them, and grants the user... Oh, so if you deal 35% of a champion's maximum health within 3 seconds, yeah, yeah. it applies Storm Surge, uh, and grants the user 25% movement speed. Um, it's a 30 second cooldown. And what is Storm Surge? Well, after two seconds, uh, Storm Surge strikes the target with lightning, dealing 120 to 260 based on level plus 40% AP, uh, magic damage to them. If they die to the lightning or before the lightning strikes, it detonates immediately in a large area around them and you gain 30 gold. Uh, okay. So like, a like a baby Karthus ult. Huh. Maybe, kind of. It like puts like a mark on you, and then it it two seconds later it yeah, it's like it, it gets Zed, struck by like a Z ult or a Yone E almost kind of. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's weird. I guess Echo would be good with this. Not sure. I mean, Just it's got forty percent AP scaling, so someone who can stack AP like this could actually yeah deal up quite a bit of damage. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Vagar. Yep, yep. Okay. That could be that could be gross. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Gain thirty gold also. It's like a yeah. collector almost type. Um, okay, uh, hex tech rocket belt. We know this item. Now it's down to twenty five hundred gold. So that's a nice little cost reduction. Uh, hex tech alternator, Kindle gem, six hundred gold, and then sixty AP, three hundred health, fifteen ability haste. Same thing. Dash in a target direction. Unleasing mat and magic missiles, missiles that deal damage, and then 40 second cooldown. Pretty much the same thing. Just uh, it's not a mythic anymore, and it costs a lot less. Cool, 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 cool. Doesn't have as much AP, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it'll be okay. Uh, the haunting guys. Um, so still just like a component. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's got a little new artwork, I think. Yeah, a little change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1300 gold. Amp Tomb, Ruby Crystal, 500 gold. Gives you 35 ability power, 200 health, and the Madness Passive, which for each second in combat with enemy champions, deal 2% bonus damage up to a maximum of 6. Yep, yep, yep. Um, there you go. Uh, seems pretty straightforward. But I think the Passive might make it because I feel like Haunting Guys didn't really do that much for you until you got Leandris. I think so. so. I think it just gave you magic pin and like health or something. Yeah, I, I don't think it had like this extra little twist to it. So that's kind of yeah. nice. Uh, Hextech Alternator. Cool. Uh, 1100 gold now. and Which I think is the same actually. Imp Flying Tome, Imp Flying Tome, and 300 gold. And it's 50 AP. Okay. I don't remember how much the one before it was, but it seems different. Uh, damaging a champion deals an additional 
with so much magic damage to and 47 cooldown. Yeah, same same thing as before, pretty much, I think. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. Uh, Leandris is back. Um, 3,000 gold. I think Yo. the same components? Haunting Guys, Blasting Wand, and some gold? Yeah, yeah. They just don't yeah, have that's... the uh, the Lost Chapter anymore. Yes, so no Lost Chapter. You don't get mana from this anymore. It's the big yes, change. Yes, you get the ability power, no mana. You do get health. Um, torment, deal damage with abilities, causes enemies to burn. And passive suffering for each second, you deal bonus damage. So that's kind of the same as the... Uh, What's it called? Haunting guys. Yeah. Um, you get that carried over, kind of. Um, and then it does have a damage cap to monsters per second. Um, so it won't be quite as good as uh, just like nuking the jungle monsters or like, yeah. uh, you know, the Carthus Baron or, or any of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's kind of interesting, actually. The uh, 2% maximum health damage per second for three seconds. I'm pretty sure it used to be five seconds, which actually gives it more damage and it also scaled uh quite a bit with like some ap and stuff so i feel this has actually nerfed the damage quite a bit maybe the uh each second of combat with champions makes it up i'm not sure the actual math on that but it looks like a nerf just uh looking at it like straight up so that's interesting i think so yeah yeah i think i think so all right, right. uh horizon focus is, yeah, um, 2,700 gold for the cost. Hextech Alternator, Fiendish Codex, and 700 gold gives you 90 ability power, 20 ability haste. We deal damage with ability champion, damage to champions with abilities at 700 range or greater. Reveal them, 10% increased damage. Yep, makes sense. Same thing as before. When revealing an enemy with Hypershot, reveal all other champions within 1,200 range of them for two seconds. Cool. That's new, I think. So that's cool, though, I guess. Kind of interesting. Yeah. The revealing thing is definitely... Yeah. Definitely kind of that. a new twist on that. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Seeker's Arm Guard. <laughs> Some that we've seen before, but 1,600 gold. Um, amp Tome. Two Amp Tomes. Cloth Armor. 500 gold is what the recipe will be. Uh, it gives you ability power which it used to give, um, gives you armor, um, which you don't have to... I think the old passive you stacked into more yeah, armor. Yeah, it's also um, a lot more AP, but it also costs like yeah. 350 more gold, I think, maybe. Yeah, so more gold, but better stats. You don't have to stack up the armor. Um, and then, oh, this is nice. You get stasis. Yeah, so it's basically with stopwatch Seeker's passive armor. came into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Use use one time only. Yeah, so that's nice. Um, you can buy this, get the stopwatch passive, and uh, you know, then build it into Zanya's. Yeah, and then it transforms into the shattered arm guard. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if we'll see that later down the line. Yeah, I want to kind of see what that looks like. Or maybe it's yeah. just uh, just changes the name because you it's a one time use to kind of like stopwatch. Cause yeah, the broken yeah, stopwatch, yeah. but it's the same thing. But at least it doesn't cost 650 gold, so hopefully this means people aren't just going to buy this that item on every champion just to have a stopwatch. Because it's like twice the cost. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Crypt Bloom, 2850, so it says gold. Um, and yeah, then, oh, <laughs> 2850, yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Uh, item recipe, Blighting Jewel, Finish Codex, plus 850 gold, and then it gets eight, 60 ability power, 10 ability haste, 30% magic pin, okay. So you get a magic pin item, I guess. Uh, whenever you get a takedown on an enemy champion with three, three seconds of damaging them, create a healing nova on their location that heals allies for 50, plus 50% 50 AP, 60 second cooldown. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Kind of like a Fiora ults or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Fiora. Yeah, no, it is just almost... a one, one time heal. I don't know if it's like over. Uh, heal nova. Yeah, just... yeah, that sounds to me more like a burst, like a, a almost burst, like a yeah. um, what's it called? Uh, it's what's that item? Redemption. Oh yeah, redemption. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, that's kind of what I think of. Yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, Shadow Flame is back. Uh, it's costing thirty two hundred gold. Uh, that's a lot of gold. Um, it's out that's of needlessly large rod and AP. alternator. 
Uh, wow, well, yeah, 128 <laughs> feet. Um, so there you go. That feels nice. Uh, you get the 10 magic pen, and you get Cinder Bloom, which magic damage and true damage critically strikes enemies below 35% health, dealing 20% increased damage. Uh, increase the 30% damage for damage over time and pet effects. So kind of gives you like a damage amp um, yeah. as the targets get lower. So this is like a pretty strong item now. I, I can see why it's priced so high now. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, that, that feels good. Amp Tome, um, we just cost 35 gold cheaper. Let's go. Easy, easy peasy. Blasting Wand costs uh, uh, just a bunch more, but you get double the AP, so... There Wait, what did it cost? Four thirty-five. What? Yeah, did it ever cost four thirty-five? Pretty sure it's always been the eight fifty. I don't know what they're talking about, but anyways, go on. I, <laughs> I don't. Oh, uh, we might need like uh, some fact checkers out there to look into this. I guarantee it doesn't cost four thirty-five. Because, yeah, it doesn't cost the same as Amptome. Like heck no. Yeah, <laughs> it might be a typo. All right, this is anyways. incorrect. <laughs> this is right. This does cost twelve fifty. <laughs> yes yes that's that's right <laughs> uh, uh gives you 70 ap now so extra 10 let's go cool. uh, love that love to see that <laughs> our friend zanya's uh it, it. is that the same is that the same recipe wait a second verdant barrier. is it not built out of arm guard i guess wait that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it says it doesn't. I don't know what Verdant Needlessly Barrier is. God. Verdant Barrier, isn't it that... I've never heard of is that. Is that not before. that like, weird necklace? You know, like the green neck bead ne necklace? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Either uh, that or it's a typo. I don't know. This is this is a big question mark here, too, because I'm not sure. It gives you 120 <laughs> AP. Uh, hey, it yo. gives you 50 armor. Okay. gives you no ability haste. Yeah, you still okay. have the stasis passive. Okay. I just question. Well, I'm glad it costs more. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. what's happening with these AP items, but all right, let's go on. Big, big question mark there. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Verdant Barrier is below. Okay. Uh, Banshee's Veil. Uh, cost going up quite a bit, 3,100 now. AP going up by a lot, though, so that's that makes sense then. Uh, Needlessly Large Rod, Verdant Barrier, which is below, is what builds into it, plus 50 gold. And then Magic Resist going up by 5, Ability Haste is 0 and now, Grant Spell Shield, and yeah, same thing for the passive. Cool. Let's check out Bar Verdant uh, Barrier. Oh, what's up? It's almost, hold on. This. Yeah, it says the same thing. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, yeah, the math doesn't add up. Well, no, it's like very similar. True. Yeah. So maybe I think this. Someone mistyped some of this stuff, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think some of this is right, but I think maybe this <laughs> is right for Banshee's Veil, but I I don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, that could be okay. different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, big question mark there. Uh, here's Verdant Barrier. I think it builds um, out of Seeker's Arm Guard instead of Verdant Barrier. I think so, too. I think this should be Seeker's yes. Arm Guard. Yeah. Um, okay, Verdant Barrier, uh, 1,800 gold. Um, amp Tome, Amp Tome, Null Magic Mantle, and some gold. It gives you 40 ability power, 30 magic resistance, and it grants you a spell shield that blocks the next enemy ability on a 60-second cooldown. Yeah, so it's twice um, the cooldown. Twice the cooldown, yeah. But, okay. wow, that's kind of cool. That is cool. That is cool. You get a little spell shield. I kind of um, like that. Nice. Yeah. Uh, here's our, it's uh, like a our combo angels. here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, total cost unchanged. Bunch of stuff in the recipe I'm not even going to read. Um, you can <laughs> read that for yourself if you want. Last chapter, though. Uh, Ayo. And cool. tier, that's interesting. Uh, mana going up by 100. 20 ability hate. What? Okay, yeah, someone's mistyping a lot of the stuff. Anyways, it looks like ability haste <laughs> is going up by 10. Uh, ability power going up by 10 as well. Uh, gain ability power equal to 1% bonus mana. I think it's the same. I think the passive is the same. Gave 5 mana yeah, yep, by yep. hitting an ability. Get a lot of that. And it transforms at 360 bonus mana. Okay. And then it turns into a... Seraph's you just want to do Seraph's too? Yeah, it's yeah. like the same, uh, yeah. 
up by 10, ability hot power, ability haste. Man is going up by, well, it was 860, now it's 1,000, so that's nice. Extra mana. Uh, it also means extra damage as well, I believe, extra AP. Um, and then removed health, so it doesn't give you 200 health anymore. That is actually not super great. I don't like that, but okay. Um, the passive is gain AP equal to 2% bonus mana, and then same passive for the lifeline, which is nice. Yep. So not too, too nice different. Um, yep. Got the Rabadons, um, mostly unchanged recipe and the cost, but yeah. uh, ability power up by 20, so you get 140 AP. And then your ability power increase oh. percentage is down by five. So okay. I maybe mean, a more the late game. Mid late. Light buff early, yeah, and then slight nerf late. But I mean, still um, a lot, and you're also also the all the other AP items seem to have gotten buffs in terms of how much AP they give. So yeah, you're still getting a ton of AP if you stack stuff. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Uh, okay. Board staff up by 200 gold, kind of makes sense. Uh, but okay, so it costs extra gold to combine. Um, Ability power going up by 15, so that's pretty nice. I like that, actually. Uh, and then eight magic bin unchanged. Cool. I like this. It's good. Yep. Good stuff. We got the Rod of Ages. Um, <laughs> the gold is actually down, so it's cheaper, wow. which that's cool. Uh, 2,600 gold. Um, you can see the recipe there. Pretty much. Actually, it's a little simpler. You don't need the amp tone, which is cool. Um, ability power down by 10. Health down by 50, mana down by 100, um, uh, item gains. So it does stack up um, just like it does on live, and then yeah. it max uh, stacks. Uh, so at 10, you gain a level. Um, that's all the same. Uh, gaining that level is still the same as it is now. Mm. Um, restore mana equal to 7% of pre mitigated damage. Um, so I think. I think that's was the that same. In before? I think that was the same. Pretty sure. And they did remove uh, for every 200 healing or mana restored, gain 35% bonus movement speed. So they removed the bonus did movement speed. I did not know that um, existed. All right. I didn't know that either. Um, so it's like, <laughs> it is cheaper, but they did remove a fair amount of stats from it too. Yeah, so. that actually makes it not, I don't think that's worth the 200 gold loss, but. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think so. And I, I think you'll probably just see similar, because this kind of goes with it. This is the Catalyst of Aeons, yeah, but you see like the, the stats are just the also, man. Actually, the mana typed, they say is I think the it's same. Typed, typoed. Yeah. But yeah, because it uh, would make sense. Health three fifty, mana to three hundred. So who knows what this should say. Yeah, I think it's 300 to 250 and then 300 to 200, but I, we'll see. I don't know. I think so. I think it's like all, because that would be in line with like up here. So <laughs> yeah. I think it's the same. Yeah. But it's fine. We're just doing your job for you, right? No, no worries. <laughs> I'll be your editor. Pay me like a million dollars. Yeah, yeah uh, easy. <laughs> done. Uh, all right, Lich Bane. Up by 100 gold. Um, just removing the fiendish codex it looks like oh putting the all i call hex tech alternator in okay interesting extra 15 ap added ability haste same bonus move speed chain as uh, unchanged i mean and using ability i think this is all this oh wait no no next tax is enhanced with base ad to plus 50 percent ap your next tax is enhanced that's 100 percent base plus 50 percent ap okay so yeah that's it's just you're not losing damage off of Sheen now, mm -hmm. which I True. think was pretty annoying, actually. Um, Agreed. So I, cool. That's cool. It's not a ton of damage, honestly, but it's something. And then Spellblade now grants 50% attack speed while available. That's kind of awesome, actually. Yeah. That's no, kind of awesome. That's really awesome. Okay. Love to see that. Yeah. Um... We've got the Nasher's Tooth uh, down 200 gold, so it's a flat 3,000. Um, we've got the recipe like is cheaper. Um, cool. You've got um, ability power down by 10. 
Ugh. Ability haste unchanged, attack speed unchanged, and the unique passive unchanged. So, so uh, not the end of the world. Two hundred gold. I guess it's fine. You still get the on hit or the yeah. You still get kind of. Yeah. I guess why you buy the item. I guess so. It's fine. Maybe you get it a bit. You get it a bit sooner. So I think yeah. I think this is fine. This is yeah. okay. Okay. And the last mage item. All right, uh, Merlin Omicon going down eight hundred gold, cheaper. Uh, recipes changed, obviously. Looks like well, whatever, not a big deal. Uh, AP ninety unchanged. Ability haste it now gets uh, fifteen, and then magic pin is going from ten to zero. So no more pa magic pin, no more health, and the passive is unchanged. Okay, that's. That's uh, fine, I guess. It's just a, yeah. a heal cut item. Makes sense, I guess. Doesn't really need to be yep. that much. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, mage items are good. We're on to <laughs> fighter and diver items, and as you can see here, no gore drinker, sunder, this thing that no one ever built, silver mirror dawn, and iron spike whip. Uh, Oof. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, that's some core. Those okay first two that. are. Those are pretty annoying items, but yeah. Yeah, they're annoying, but they were like very present. So let's yes. see what they add in here. Um, I guess I'll do Hallbreaker. Yeah. Uh, everyone's favorite item. So <laughs> gold three thousand. Uh, whatever ton. I don't. I don't have any concept of these yet. So, yep. Don't know what these are, but I guess we'll learn in a bit. Um, sixty-five attack damage, three hundred fifty health, five percent movement speed. Uh, it has the skipper passive. Every fifth basic attack against the champion, an epic monster deals 140% melee or 70% ranged base AD plus 3.5% max health bonus, physical damage, and it is increased to 400% slash 200% if you're 200% if you're ranged. Okay. If you are attacking structures, so all right, you're just ripping towers okay. um and then boarding part i think it's boarding fairly party, boarding but party yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, they need hire they need two editors hire me two for a million dollars <laughs> um so we're gonna say boarding party uh near by allied sieged and super minions gain uh bonus armor and magic resistance um wow that's, that's a lot of things so there. yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a uh, good split push item. But does it not have? It doesn't have that. Um, it look like it gives. This... You can be around people now, right? Oh, maybe. Right. Yeah. I don't see anything in here that Kinda says you can't be near like people. It. Also, you don't get the extra resists. It looks like. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I think I think you can be around people now. I like this item more. <laughs> yeah, me too. I hated people buying it and then saying like I can't group. Yeah, yeah. true. So true. now it's still like a split push item, but it doesn't like gate you from grouping and feeling like you wasted your gold. If yeah. that's if that like part of the item is gone, which I think is good. That's interesting. Uh cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Blood of the Rune King, same cost. Recipe I think is the same. Uh, 40 attack speed, 25% yeah, so. attack. I mean, 40 attack damage, 25% attack speed, 80% life steal. Attack supply 12 and then 9. Okay, good. That's actually more than I think it is right now. I think it's 10.5 for melee. Yeah, I think it's. I think this is a buff. Yeah, so that's good. It's back to what it was like a little while ago. Uh, first basic attack is against the enemy champion slows them by 30% for one second. Food set cool. Out. Yes. That's pretty that. nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the this old a... Dusk Blade passive, which yeah. is really good. I love that. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a pretty good item for sure. Sweet, I like this. Good. For sure. Uh Phage, we got eleven hundred gold, uh fifteen attack damage, two hundred health. Um, and then attacking a unit grants twenty percent or twenty twenty movement speed for two seconds. So um a yeah, that's kind of a nice little passive. I don't think it had that before, right? This little It did, but I think they changed like before before, like old Trinity before mythic mm. items and stuff. I think okay. yeah. I think they changed it to restoring health after that. But yeah, now it's now it's no restoring health over 
after yeah. I think well, either damaging an enemy or you getting damaged one of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is better. I like that. Eclipse, uh, 2800 gold. I think everything's the same there. Uh, 70 attack damage, 15 ability haste. Passive, I think it's the same. Yes, it looks all about the same. Maybe a little yeah. bit more damage, if, no if nothing else. But overall, similar item. Sweet. Uh, Spirit Sojin. Hey. See, 3300 gold. That is a similar recipe. Yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah. Pickaxe, Kindle Gem, Coffee, Hammer. Uh, 55 attack damage, 500 health, 20 ability haste. Uh, passive. Your non-ultimate spells gain 15 ability haste, and then your spell hits grant stacks. Your spells deal 3% increased damage for each stack. Huh. Um, it doesn't say. If how many stacks the stacks anything. fall off or yeah, yeah. how many you can have. Yeah, and it doesn't really specify the ability haste either for the non-ultimate spells, which it used to scale as well. So if that's just flat, yeah. that's definitely a nerf. But I mean, the other passive is new, so that probably helps it. So I don't know. We'll have yeah. to see. But okay. Yeah, if this scales infinitely forever for the whole game, then it's pretty <laughs> freaking good. But right. I just don't think that's the case. Seems pretty, <laughs> it seems pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, at least your page is working, man. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Maybe that's why they don't, your page doesn't work. They were like, oh, we've got too many typos. Gotta we got to take this down. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. All right, uh, Ravenous Hydra, 3450 gold. That's the most expensive item I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 70 attack damage, 20 buddy haste, temperament lifesteal, you have your active and your passive again now on this, so it's the old at Ravenous kind of. Uh, twenty hundred percent total attack damage. Yes, makes sense. Damage plus life steal, ten second cooldown. I think that's about the same. Uh, maybe it's a little bit longer actually. Cleave attack steal damage to other units within. Yep, that's about the same. So old Hydra just costs a little more, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, it's not the most expensive item. Uh, Rabidons is the most expensive item, but you know. Anyways. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right it you're used right. to be. Uh, Titanic is slightly cheaper. Mm. Uh, 33.50, so 100 cheaper. Uh, recipe looks pretty much the same. Yeah, Tiamat's in there. Um, 30 attack damage, 450 eight, health. Less AD, but I'm, I'm I think remember, this sure. feels like a less AD. Yeah. I can't That's remember if it guess. gave 20 ability haste or not. I think it did. I don't think um, it did it? Okay. Maybe it did. I can't remember now. I Maybe remember it gave either. more AD and didn't have no this. ability haste? I, I think that's right, but I'm not sure. That sounds right to me. Yeah. Um, I didn't build it all that much on my people, so. I like it. Um, I, like it. <laughs> I think these are very much the same. Colossus, Colossus base attack deals... Max health damage um, uh, on hit to your target, and it cleaves in a cone yeah, this on your is next attack to Titanic. people. Do. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I mean. Active. It's like going back to yep. like, yeah, how it was with the active strike and that. I like yeah, it. Yeah. That's fine. That's good. Yep, that feels good. Um, Tiamat. Uh, pretty much the same, I think. Maybe a little bit extra gold cost, but whatever. Uh, attacks. You have the passive and the active now, so yeah. Yep. Pretty much the same thing. Feels good. Uh, Heartbound Axe, 1,200 gold, 25% attack speed, 20 attack damage. Pretty straightforward. Nice. Um, Stride Breaker. So they got rid of Gordringer, but Stride Breaker is still here. Yeah, still here. It's good, actually, I think. Anyways, um, okay, 3,100 gold, 50 attack damage, 20% attack speed, 400 health, slow nearby enemies by 30%, and gain 30% bonus movement speed per champion hit that decays over 3 seconds, can move while casting, 15 second cooldown, passive, dealing physical damage, grants 20 bonus movement speed for 2 seconds. Yep, I think it's about the same. Maybe a little less damage, mm -hmm. because it's not a mythic anymore. Maybe less damage, but overall, yeah, yeah. it's the same. Yep, yep. Uh, 
Oh, new items. Ooh, some new items. New items. Experimental hex plate. Uh, three thousand gold. Whatever this tunneler item we keep hearing about, plus noon <laughs> quiver. Uh, fifty-five percent attack damage. Twenty percent attack speed. Three hundred health. Uh, you gain 30 ultimate ability haste and after casting your ultimate gain 35% attack speed and 15% bonus movement speed for 7 seconds so in the preview um, of this uh, yeah. patch Freak was saying like this is good for like ACs that would want uh, even though it's in the fighter area which I think it's probably more like for ribbon and all this stuff but I think like Maybe Ash, like people that want to like use your ult and then start chasing or kiting, super good. Ooh, I think. okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But not like Jen or Misfortune or anything that root themselves. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you we'll see, don't want to follow up, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, uh, Sunder's guy, thirty-one. Were you gonna say something? Sorry, cut you off a little. No, bit. no, no, no. Okay, no. Uh, thirty-one hundred gold, uh, fifty-five attack damage, three hundred health, fifteen ability haste, first attacks against attack against the champion will critically strike and heal for 140% base AD plus 6% of missing health. Cool. So, kind of like Aatrox passive, sort of, with his one hit. Yeah. hundred. That's a good amount of healing, I feel like, if you have a good chunk of AD. Yeah, I, I don't know what the cooldown is of this. It didn't say, but... um. I thought it was more like an energized type of thing. But yeah, yeah it's kind of. Because what does that mean? The first attack against. Can you. Is it like the misfortune passive? Yeah, can that's you just like. Thinking. Right. Like constantly change targets and just like heal a million times? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe there's a unique cooldown per champ. Stuff like that. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But it seems kind of good. It has the same stats, I think, roughly at least as uh, uh, Spear Shojin, which is a really good item. So. Or no, it does. Yeah, has less health, but yeah, it's about the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's the tunneler. Ayo. No passive. Finally, uh, no Looks passive. Cool, Just gives you attack damage and health. <laughs> that's that's there fine. <laughs> yep. cool. That's all you want. That's all you need. It's the tunneler. Uh, there you go. The tunneler. <laughs> <laughs> Got Pantheon Shield here. Uh, Steel <laughs> Sigil. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, same, pretty much, roughly thing. Long sword, cloth armor. Uh, and some gold that costs 1200, 1580, and 30 armor. Cool. It's a component, whatever. Uh, all right. Wits End is cheaper. It's now 2800 go. gold. Um, the recipe is recurve bow, negatron cloak, and a dagger plus some gold. <sighs> uh, more, t more attack speed. So, cool. But, magic resist up. But, cool. <laughs> attack damage none you just get none of it Ugh. that's that feels kind of bad and then uh Ugh. tenacity you do get 20 percent tenacity um your passive attack supply on hit oh it's it's like the same on hit uh bonus magic damage yeah it just doesn't give um, speed anymore, it looks like kind yeah of and that attack damage lost is pretty oof man ouch I don't know about this item anymore. Yeah, I don't feel good about it. I don't like that. It's probably all right, but it's rough. It's very specific it's item now. Yeah. Yeah. Very specific. Go away. Go away, item. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trinity Forest. Uh, about the same. You get Sheen Phage and Hearthbound Axe. Okay, it's a better, better build than before, actually. Plus 33 gold. Mm -hmm. uh, attack damage going up by 5. Speed change. Bloody haste unchanged. Uh, or attack speed unchanged, I mean. Uh, spell blade. The exact same. Uh, passive. Yep. Attacking unit gives grants 20 move speed now because Hearthbound Axe. Although we already mm -hmm. had that, so okay, interesting. And then threefold strikes removed, of course. So yeah, okay. I mean, just old Trinity Force, basically. But it doesn't give you mana and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Seems fine. The build path is way better, so. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Black Cleaver. Uh, slightly less gold. It's 3,000. Uh, Phage, Kindle Gem, and a Longsword is the path. Um, health Unchanged, 400 still. You get five more attack damage. Uh, 10 less ability haste. 
and the passive, the carve passive, which is the uh, armor shred, is nerfed by 1% per stack. Mm. Um, and the rage passive, attacking unit grants 20% movement speed for two seconds. So that's uh, yeah, it's 6% coming less off of carve. Page, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I don't I don't know if that's worth the hundred less gold, but I guess we'll see. Um interesting. And okay. the last the last item for this category. Hey, oh, yeah. let's go. All right. Uh three thousand gold for Steric Gauge. Some stuff. He just got the tunneler now. Let's go. Tunneler. Let's tunneler. Go. Uh <laughs> Health down by 50, gives tenacity now, 20%. That's kind of interesting. They're doing that in a lot of items now, it looks like, or at least mm -hmm. a couple. Um, bonus attack damage equal to, yep, that's the same. Taking damage, okay, this has changed a little bit, the passive. Getting 80% bonus health shield was the old. That's the same, I guess. Decaying, okay, you don't get the tenacity and you, don't, and you get 15% less size. So the tenacity is just built into the item a little bit, but it's less. Okay. So it's kind of just less a nerfed big. item overall. I'd yeah, say. less big mode. I like yeah. Big, big mode. Yeah, you're also wearing as chunk, I guess. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, okay. I guess. Whatever. On to uh, tank and support tank items. <laughs> so let's see what they got rid of. Turbo Chem Tank, gone. Radiant okay. Virtue, Gargoyle Stone Plate. Yo. Aww. Aegis of the Legion, uh, Evan Shroud, Radiant Ayo. Virtue, Ayo. and Lifewell Pendant. Wait, Radiant it's Virtue twice? Okay. <laughs> yeah, they really, yep, they just... They double got, got they, rid of it. Yeah, they, I like that. It. I like that. It. <laughs> Get it out of here. Alrighty. Let's see what our first one is. Hollow Radiance. So, uh, as a new item, 2,800 gold. It's Bomby Cinder and Spectre's Cal. Uh, it's going to give you 600 health, 40 magic resist, 100% uh, base health regen, and it has the immolate passive. So that is taking or dealing damage causes you to burn. Uh, so that's kind of like a Sunfire Cloak yeah, type dealio. Yeah, I think so. And then um, Desolate, killing an enemy, which does not count ward or structure, uh, deals 20 magic damage in an area around them, plus oh. 3%. 3.5% bonus health. So it has like a little uh, AOE. Like Tristana E kind of passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Will help, definitely help with like wave clear if you're a tank. Yeah. Uh, uh, they got a top lane tank. This will help wow. for sure. That's a lot of health too. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's pretty. I wonder if that replaces. They didn't get rid of Four some months. fire cloak. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, I guess it's like an alternative with that passive. Yeah, instead of armor, I guess it's now magic resist. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's it's like a MR. Yeah, MR. Okay, one, yeah. nice. I like that actually. Alternative. Okay, unending despair, twenty eight hundred gold, kind of cool icon. Uh, some stuff, four hundred health, fifty five armor, ten ability haste. While in combat with champions, passive. Every seven seconds, deal 30 to 50 based on level, plus 3% bonus health, magic damage to nearby enemy champions with 650 units. Wow, that's big. Heal for 250% of the damage dealt. Okay. So, kind of like a drain tanky yeah. item. That's interesting. 250% of the damage dealt. Okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of OP, actually. Wait, every seven seconds. Okay. Maybe not as OP, but still, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Not not OP since it's got that every seven second, but yeah, still yeah, pretty yeah. good. Wow. Uh, okay. and more another new item, uh, Canic Rookern. I think that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> uh, twenty nine hundred gold. Spectre's cow, Negatron cloak. Uh, it's another MR item. Uh, four hundred health. Uh, eighty magic resistance. One hundred and fifty health regen. Um, Mega Bane is the passive. After not taking mage. damage for 12... Oh, Mage Bane. That's not as fun. That's it sounded great, though. I like yours. I like Mega Bane. That, that sounds... Hell yeah, dude. Why couldn't they make that the typo? That would be... Right. <laughs> After not taking damage for champions for 12 seconds, gain a magic shield for 20% of your maximum wow. health. Wow, okay. Uh, so... Galio yeah. Galio does like that. That's Malphite pretty good. Also likes. 
Yep, 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 yep. For sure. Okay. Zion likes <laughs> a lot of yeah. I feel like almost every yeah, a lot of tanks. It's like a magic that, shield though, at least. So it's not just a flat shield, but fair, yeah, very against fair, fair. MR, MR, magic base damn champs. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. Uh, okay. I think everything's unchanged on the stats and the gold cost, roughly. Maybe it's like uh, I think it's the same gold cost. Uh, passive, I think. Let's see. Yes. Charge attack deals 100 plus 10% of health from items. Interesting. Bonus physical damage and grants you 12% of that value as permanent maximum health. 30 second cooldown per target. For each 100 maximum health gain, 3% increased size up to 30%. So that's new. Yeah. Uh, not the best thing overall, but I mean, it's cool for Cho'Gath, I guess, or something. Uh, maybe yeah. for Cyan, I don't know. All right. Interesting. Seems Seems I'm fun. glad it's still in the game. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good item. Uh, Trailblazer, formerly known as Speed with Friends. Huh. All right. Okay. I, okay. Uh, twenty-four hundred gold. <laughs> Winged Moonplate and a chain vest. Um, gives you two fifty health. Oh. Uh, forty armor. Oh wait, do you know what it's Speed Turbo with Friends King. is? It's Turbo Kim Tank, I think. Uh, <laughs> With the passive. <laughs> we'll get there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 250 health, 40 armor, 5% <laughs> bonus movement speed, lead the way while moving build up to 20% bonus movement speed at max stacks. Leave a trail that raises allies' movement speed by 50% of your movement speed. Your next attack discharges the built-up movement speed from melee champions at top speed. Attack also slows target by 50 percent for one I second mean, it's not exactly the same but yeah it's pretty close yeah pretty close uh they also, said they got rid of turbo chem tank but yeah they snuck it in okay that's fine i guess yeah i don't know who's yeah. gonna buy this but sure some of them have you seen turbo king take builds in the last year nope <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember maybe once nope, uh, maybe by mistake yeah yeah uh, Zeke's convergence, or does does Bard build it? I don't know. Anyways, uh, no, I, don't I think, think so. it's the other speed item, uh, support speed item. Uh, yeah, Shirelius, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Zeke's convergence, twenty two hundred gold, twenty two hundred health, two fifty mana, our mana, three third D armor, twenty ability haste. When you cast your ultimate, get an ice storm around yourself for five seconds. Storm deals fifty magic damage. Per second, so those enemies inside for 30%, 45 second cooldown. I think it's the same, maybe cheaper. Not sure about the stats. I don't buy this item. Mm, it is well, it's it's largely the same, but they um, unless it's like they forgot to put it in, which I don't think they did. You used to uh, tether to somebody. So you oh, used really? to have like oh, the yeah. yeah, you used to tether it. So so you used to get the ice storm and then the typically this was like a support item. So you would have the ice storm on your support and then the ADC would have like a fire like on hit. Yeah, that's right. That's thing. right. So now it's just like a soul item basically. Yeah, it's cheaper. Isn't wasn't this some yeah. mythic or no? Mm, no. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. I didn't build it that much. You had to have like an ADC that would benefit from it, so it was kinda like a like a niche item. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um cool. Interesting. Locket is still in the game. Uh twenty two hundred gold. Build path, cost armor. I think that's let's see, what do they change? Life Oil pendant. Now it's Kindle Gem. All magic mantle. So they get you a cloth armor in the build now, which is kind of nice. Mm. Um, 200 health. I think that's similar. Uh, 30 MR and armor. Ability haste is down by 10. Um, and the active is just the shield. Uh, they just removed the passive, uh, which actually was yeah. kind of nice to have that passive. It's, it's it like, pretty big. Give your ADC some deceptive, like, tankiness yeah. in those trades um so that oh, being gone will hurt don't a bit. you worry about that we'll we'll get to an item marksman item in a bit and we'll, we'll show you it's 2200 <laughs> that, gold though so care. that's a lot cheaper, yeah no that's nice this is this is really cool i like that and you still get that the active is really why you bought it a lot of times yeah that, that big like team fight shield so 
that's obviously still there so that's cool war mugs is still here let's go um 100 more gold 50 less health uh gives five percent movement speed now but doesn't give any ability haste and then now the threshold is you have to have at least 1300 bonus health instead of 1100 that does hurt quite a bit but it's okay i guess restore health per second and gain 10 percent movement speed if damage hasn't been taken within six seconds three seconds for non-champions interesting so okay. you got like a 10 percent you got a lot of movement speed built into this item now i kind of like that i guess yeah you're gonna be going fast that's cool that's okay i like it i think it's good uh jack show 3200 gold <laughs> you have a different build path it's a chain vest negatron cloak and a ruby crystal um health is down by 100 armor is up by 20 magic resistance is up by 20 no ability haste now um <laughs> and then for each second in champion combat gain a stack up to five stacks at max stacks become empowered increasing your bonus resist by 30 that's the same so uh really wow. you just got more baked in you got That's more baked in bust, resistances. Dude. Yeah. I think. I think so because you get more really resistances up front and then the, it'll be even more once the passive triggers. Yeah. And it's not a mythic, yeah. so you don't you can buy whatever else with it too. That's yeah, kind of feels, crazy. That feels, okay. that feels pretty good. Yeah. All right. Dead man's unchanged gold price. Anniversary unchanged, health unchanged, armor unchanged, movement speed unchanged. Uh, has a new passive. The strength of movement slowing effects on you is reduced by 30%. Okay, that's cool, actually. Kind of like, uh, uh, what's it called? The speed boots. The swift yeah. boots. Yeah, swifties. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some uh, while moving, build up to 40, per, 40 bonus move speed. That's the same. Your next check attack discharges built up move speed deal up to forty physical damage. Maximum stacks of star target is also slowed by fifty percent is gone, so you don't slow your target anymore at max stacks. But okay. everything unchanged okay. from there. Alright. Okay. Not bad. Cool. Um this item was pretty good before. Let's see, Randoins. Yeah. Most things unchanged, honestly, is a little bit less armor, um, but the gold cost, the health you get, okay. so it's 55 armor instead of 60. Um, the mitigation damage is, the rock solid is still there. Um, nice. And then critical strikes now deal 30% less nice. damage instead of 25. Yes. So I, I feel like this item was already like really good. Yeah, um, so agree. it pretty much just got just got better. Um, I so. agree. <laughs> I like yeah, you should you should buy this. It's good. It's really good. This is, this is a good good item. Buy this one. <laughs> uh for sorry, force of nature, twenty hundred gold unchanged, item speed unchanged, health unchanged, move speed unchanged, magic resist down by five. Um I think it's about unchanged roughly. Probably might slightly yeah. changed, I don't know. But, it looks yeah. pretty similar. You get move speed, I think, or something. You know, you just get you get steadfast, and then you get more magic with this, I think. Oh, yeah, you get... T oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. At max stacks, you get 70 magic resistance, 10% increased yes. move speed. Wow. So you okay. need to stack it up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. this is pretty much your best MR item overall, um, just like before. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, the gauntlet, Iceborne gauntlet, uh, good, good amount cheaper, 2,600 gold nice. now. Okay. Um, it builds out a sheen ruby crystal chain vest. Um, you get a hundred less health. Mm. Um, okay. armor's the same ability haste down by five and if you're using ability, your next attack is enhanced with hundred percent base attack damage physical. And creates a frost field for two seconds. Okay, enemies that move across the field are slowed by twenty percent. Um, plus some math there. 
And I think that is... So the only change is your primary target has slid for double the amount since the old version yep. has the damage against yep. reduced. So now it's just the old Iceborne. It just creates a slow zone. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. Correct. And obviously it gives you um, Sheen. Yeah, not too bad. The health loss is kind of a lot. But kind of rough, but is... I think 400 gold is fine. I think it's okay, yeah, for that much of a price reduction. Yeah. So, uh, they didn't, they didn't do a whole lot with this guy <laughs> down by 200 gold. All right, there you go. Next, <laughs> uh, so far, Aegis. Uh, so this is still in the game. Um, a lot of it's unchanged, it does give you 50 less health, but this gives you armor. Um, and then it has the same, no yeah, six difference. seconds. Well, I think it's is it the same? It's the immolate passive from that, yeah. It looks like it's down by three, da three flat damage. Like that other one. So it right? was 15, now it's 12. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then... Um, for three seconds, taking damage, damaging champions or optic monsters. We'll add to the stack. Yeah, we'll add a stack. Just yeah. It's just so, down by three flat. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I do I do really like that they have uh, this one still for armor, and then they have the other one for MR. Yeah, that feels, that's nice. That's good. That's really nice. All right, uh, Knight's Vow is now 2,200 gold. I think it's unchanged, it looks like. And then down by 50 health, down, up by 20 armor. Ability okay. is unchanged. No longer has base health regen. Uh, in the past, it's unchanged. Okay. Kind of rough, I think, but okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it's fine, I I guess. don't like it, but okay. <laughs> Frozen Heart. Go. Uh, it oh, got... Okay. The, Good amount cheaper. This is almost essentially them saying this is a support item. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty without much. without cheap, this has gotten um, 70 armor instead of 90. Still has 20 ability haste. Still gives you 400 mana. Um, still has the rock solid. Uh, so 400 gold cheaper slow. for 20 armor. Uh, kind of hurts, but I think it's fine. You still have a lot of armor from it. I'm not. It, I'm not. It feels it. like. It feels like a support item. I'm just trying to think now. It should be. Yeah, it should be a support the item. The mana. What support would want the 400 mana? That feels a little. <laughs> yeah. Nah. That feels a little weird. That but was okay. always my problem with it. <laughs> but yeah, like, like even when it was a tank it's item, it's so like. Yeah. 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 Okay. Whatever, well, I, I like I it. I don't know. It's a cool change. Fine. Assassin <laughs> items. Lethality has been uh, adjusted to be one armor pin per po one point of lethality rather than 0 0.6 to 1. So now it's just better. Armor pin's just better. Or really yeah. thought it's just better. Then they nice. root Duskblade and Prowler's Claw. Fine. I, cool. I saw this coming. They they changed every patch for an entire year. So. <laughs> yeah, very true. Oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're out. <laughs> um all right let's see lost my place this one this one might be you i think I can't okay, remember. okay i think i, I don't know it's fine. Heart. Uh, uh, either. Yeah. doesn't matter uh total cost 2900 gold it's a new item obviously voltail cyclo cyclo sword yo uh like combined cost is 863 that's kind of interesting oh it's because brutalizer um mm. brutalizer's back by the way <laughs> uh, 55 attack damage, 18 lethality, 15 ability haste, pretty good stats. Moving and attacking will generate energized. Dashes and stealth stack it faster. And then energized firmament attack applies 100 bonus physical damage, so not magic, and slows enemies for 99% for 0.57 seconds, 20% for range reduces. That's, that's almost like basically a stun for. Yeah, like kind of. It's exactly it's... the same as uh, the old Dusk Plague uh, yeah. passive auto. Yeah, yeah. But it also actually works for ranged users on this one, but the other one didn't. So that's interesting. True, 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 true. Okay. Uh, another uh, Hydra. Hydra item. Yep. A new Hydra item, Profane. So 3,400 gold. <laughs> Builds out a Tiamat and Brutalizer. Um, 60 attack damage, 18 lethality, 20 ability haste. Um, heretical slash. So they active. Um, deal eighty percent total attack damage towards 
our damage to nearby enemies. Damage increases to 120% um, when enemies are below 30% health. Um, okay. okay. Um, it doesn't say in what shape this goes. Yeah. So maybe it's just like all the way around in a circle? Or, it might just yeah, I'm not be sure. in this shape. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could also just be that. Um, and then it has cleave as the passive, which is uh, similar to the other Hydra items where it hits other units. So, cool. Assassin Hydra. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Hubris. What a name. Uh, 3,000 gold. It's rated to Caulfield's Warhammer plus 900 gold, 60 AD, 18 lethality, 15 ability haste, passive ego. When you kill an enemy champion, you are granted a statue of yourself. If you already have a statue, the statue upgrades. What the, okay, what the hell? like where are you granted this? In your passive? Where's buffs? the statue going? Uh, okay, yeah, I know, for real. Uh, passive eminence. When a champion that you have damaged within the last three seconds dies, gain 10 plus 1 per rank of statue. Attack damage for 60 seconds. Hmm. Okay. So you're just stacking attack damage for a minute after a kill. Interesting. Or I guess it's not stacking, but of yourself. it stacks cool. with your, okay, your kills. I guess it puts a little statue in somewhere on the map. I don't know. Yeah, it's either on the map or maybe it's on your buff bar. Is what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, maybe. Make true, the most true. Sense, but yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. All right. It doesn't That's specify. Hubris. <laughs> uh, interesting opportunity. <laughs> uh, let's see. Opportunity. Twenty-seven hundred gold. It's a Dirk. And Retrix, that's a new item for sure. Um, 55 attack damage, 18 lethality, 6% movement speed. Um, after being uh, preparation, after being out of combat with champions, you gain 5 to 10 lethality based on level. This lasts for 3 seconds after dealing damage to a champion. And then extraction, if enemy champion dies... Within three seconds of you damaging them, gain movement speed, 150 decaying movement speed for 1.5 seconds. Um, so maybe see Kha'Zix liking this. Maybe Rengar. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like there's reset run around champions. Yeah, I think Kha'Zix is maybe. for this for sure. Yeah, yeah Kha'Zix. This is, I thought of Kha'Zix when I read that for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Um, this is just a component, I think. Rectrix, Rec yeah. Rectrix, yeah. Builds out. It builds into this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 20 attack damage, 4% move speed. Nice. Five, not, 900 gold. Not too much there. Brutalizer's bad. Our and it's with old lethality. friend Brutalizer. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. These stats seem like what I remember, but it has yeah. lethality, so that's nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 8 lethality now. Um, welcome back, Brutalizer. Um... <laughs> Uh, Surreal Disc Grudge is still here. Let's go. Uh, 3200 gold. Last Whisper Brutalizer. And 45 AD, 15 Lethality, 15 Ability Haste. I think it's about the same. Um, or I guess maybe it didn't give Lethality for? I'm not sure. I think it gave... Yeah, I think it gave 30%... Armor pen. I think uh, it, yeah, I gave the pen. I think yeah, before. flat. Uh, but now yeah. it's in a passive called Rancor. It gains twenty plus eleven percent of lethality, or tw plus eleven percent lethality. Yeah, I think twenty. I think the lethality is supposed to be in the parentheses. Twenty plus eleven percent of your lethality is armor penetration. That's kind of cool, I guess. So you can scale with your lethality how much you have. And then bitter gold damage enemies slow damaging abilities slow enemies for 30% for one second. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Uh Dirk down 100 gold and nice. it loses five attack damage. So that's, that's fine, about it. I guess. Yeah, you get it slightly faster, it does slightly less damage. Kinda hurts, but yeah. I think it's okay. Might be fine. Okay. Uh, you moose. It is down 400 gold. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Attack damage unchanged, lethality unchanged. Doesn't have ability haste now. Uh, no longer mythic, obviously. And uh, you gain. The old one was gained 25% move speed and ghosting for 6 seconds. Now it's 20% movement speed and ghosting. Uh, and then haunt. Gain 40 movement speed out of combat. 
Spectral Shard mechanic has been removed. So yeah, it's basically old Yomus, roughly. Yeah. But that, it doesn't give the crits sense. of of old old Yomus, that's all. But yeah. Pretty uh, cheap. Axiom Arc. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot cheaper. That is <laughs> that's pretty nice. good. That might be about the same price uh, though, I don't remember. It that's might be. Familiar. <laughs> Anyways, it might be. Uh, Axiomark is largely the same. Mm, yeah. Stat wise, uh, only difference is uh, it used to refund ten plus point uh, four percent per one lethality in terms of ultimate cooldown, and now it's just ten plus thirty percent of your lethality uh, ultimate cooldown. Okay. So. That's fine, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. Seems okay. Probably better, but I'm not sure. I think it's better. I think it is better. Uh, total cost. Uh, Umbro Glade um, going up by 300 gold. Okay. Attack damage unchanged. Up by... Gets two more lethality. Ability haste unchanged. And then the passive. Um... Oh, the attacks do three for melee and two for range damage towards instead of uh, two for melee and one is what the old one was. So that's cool. Good. I like it being better. Yeah. 300 more gold Strong. though. Wow. Just for yeah, that might, that's going to hurt yeah. like Senna or Pike or yeah. any of the supports that built it. Uh, hopefully we don't get like Graves buying it first item anymore though. That's good. Hopefully. 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 <laughs> um, and then the last, last assassin item, Serpent's Fang. Uh, down 100 gold, and that's it. That's his buff. <laughs> no changes, just 100 cheaper. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, uh, that feels fine. I think feels that's good, good. probably. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. On to Marksman. So no Rage Knife and no Gale Force. Okay. Saw that coming, I think. Wait, I thought they were moving Kraken. Okay. Good. I'm glad it's not gone. Uh, it's, Let's see what it's happens. It's probably in there, I guess. All right. Okay. Uh, do you want to start us off? Yeah, I'll do Terminus. Um, Terminus is 3,000 gold. Um, builds out of Recurve, BF Sword, and Dagger. Uh, 40 attack damage, 30 attack speed, 30% attack speed. Um, it has the Shadow Passive, which is 30 magic damage on hit. And then juxtaposition, passive. Um, interesting. Alternate between light and dark on hit each attack. The light attack grants three to five armor magic resist. And the dark attacks grant 6% armor penetration. What? <laughs> okay. Um, that feels uh, overly complicated. But basically, uh, it's an attack speed item. It's kind of like a rage blade, but it gives you pin and it also gives you armor and magic at risk but what what do you mean alternate like how many times so, does it stack up to of each and then what okay. well if the stack falls off after five seconds so okay you can but probably says, only get so many yeah I but six it's, it's like five, every attack so. okay. every attack is different so the first attack gives you the armor magic resist yeah. And the second attack gives you the pen, and then it like goes back and forth. I guess. That's weird. Okay. That, that is weird. Um, okay. Well, at least we get resistances. Yeah. I suppose. True. Uh, take them any way you can get them. Cogma. That's Cogma item. Yeah, for okay. sure. For sure. <laughs> uh, Kensu's rage blade is still in the game. Let's go. Uh, down by two hundred gold. Uh, obviously, no more rage knife in the builds. Everything else is unchanged for day space stats, and then passive. Wrath, um, it, like, attacks uh, now deal 30 bonus magic damage on hit, critical strike conversion removed. Yes! Yes! Finally! Seems pretty good. Finally! Seems pretty good. Old Rage Blade is back! <laughs> kind yeah. of. Let's see, hold on. Uh, passive Seething Strike. Fast basic attacks grant 8 attack speed, 8% stacking up to 4 times for max of 32. Yep, makes sense. Fully stacked. Every attack, third attack applies your on hit effects twice. Phantom hit synergy with Kraken Slayer has been reintroduced. Oh, so now you can okay, use okay. Kraken Slayer as your 
<clears throat> wow. Okay. Okay. I think it's kind of specific, but that's, yeah, that's, I love this. This is awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that feels, that feels really this. good. Um, Infinity Edge down 100 gold. Uh, you nice. lose 5% crit strike damage, but otherwise, everything's the same. Same item. So, cool. like it. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems good. Uh, a lot of crit strike chance for that, actually. I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, no worry. Down by 100 gold, still in the game. It's down 5 attack damage. <clears throat> Ability haste 50%. Uh, or what? Okay, sure. 15 ability haste, I mean. Um, <laughs> critical strike chance is unchanged. Unique passive transcendence. Your attacks reduce your non-ultimate ability cooldowns by 50% of the remaining cooldown. Is what it was, and now it's 12% of the remaining cooldown. That's fine. It's not a mythic anymore, so I think that's fair. Um, passive impermanence unchanged, which I think... Actually, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think it this is like makes for your like, abilities uh... do more damage, right? Yeah, I think this is like Ezreal or Lucian would probably like this. Mm -hmm. Stuff like I wonder that. If caster, caster. You can ABCs. still build. You probably can't, but I wonder if you can still build Quick Blades and um, Shojin now, because they're both like cooldown reducing item stuff. Uh, they maybe. used to not be able to, but I don't know if they changed that or not. Yeah, we'll have to test it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Guardian Angel. Still here. Gold is the Good. same. Yep, gives uh five more armor, five, uh ten more attack damage, and no, the... no, 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 you got it wrong. The attack damage going from forty-five to fifty-five attack. Oh yeah, sorry, not damage, it's attack. <laughs> nice. All right. Also, no, no I... stop watching the build. <laughs> yeah, no stop watching the build, which is cool. Um, I suppose. Let's see. This 100% of max mana after four seconds so stasis. Yeah. So you just get more mana when you come back up, basically. Four seconds of stasis. That's. Is that the same as before? I wonder. I don't know. That's just like the like the channel time, basically, I... for when you come up. I'm not I think... sure. Unless it's talking about you get Zanya just at the end. I don't know. <laughs> I... <laughs> Hard to say. Hard to say. Um, it's basically the same, though, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's good. Ba -bum. Uh, Mortal Shield Bow is still in the game. Everything's roughly unchanged, but you get 2% more, more life steal. 2%. And. Um, same. You get more health as a shield. And you don't get mm -hmm. the attack speed bonus when lifeline is triggered anymore. Okay. Cool. It's fine. So you're really just getting it for the shield, basically. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit extra nice life steal, but yeah. Yeah, not bad. Uh, Kraken. Yep, they did not remove it. Um, Let's go. I'm so glad. Basically, I I just so a, basically just a buff. They just gave it more attack speed, but everything else is unchanged. Um, Sweet. Yeah, even down to the passive is unchanged. So Heck, just a buff. Yeah. That's good. Love that. I was actually so worried. I thought they were moving this. I'm so I thought glad. they were getting rid of it too. So they actually just kept it and made it better. So good stuff. Okay. Let's go, right? Love, love it. Love and it. we got old VNCs. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And they work together. So. Oh there my go. gosh, my Zin Zhao builds are gonna be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, play the rankings better. <laughs> yep. Yep. He's feeling pretty strong. Uh, sorry, Lord Dom's uh, regards. Cold unchanged. You get five more attack damage. Good. Everything else is unchanged except it's passive. Now only deals up to 50% bonus physical damage to champions with greater maximum health than you. But the threshold uh, or the max damage increase reached when health difference is greater than 2,000. So you don't have to be. They don't have to be 2,500 anymore, but yeah, that's actually quite a bit of a nerf overall, but it's still a great item. It's a really good item, for sure. Yeah, you'll still you'll still build it, but this won't quite be as good. Yeah. Um, 
Phantom Dancer, unchanged, unchanged. Uh, cost is unchanged. Attack damage is the same. You get 5% less attack speed. Uh, you do get 3% more movement speed. Nice. Um, wow. And then the, the ghosting ability and movement speed is... Uh, it's a slightly different passive. So now attacks grant ghost and a stack of seven percent attack speed up to seven oh. or up to five stacks for a max of thirty five for three seconds. Um Oh let's go. So that feels that feels stronger. I think it's stronger. I think hold on, let me do the math. So it used to give you sixty five percent total with the passive and now it gives you 65 percent. yeah it's the exact same i guess but you get it sooner you don't have to hit them four times mm -hmm. to activate the the thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it's basically just ginsu's kind of but different yep so yep, yep, yep. i like it this is good yeah this seems this seems good that's any more move speed <laughs> true uh, Rapid Fire Cannon unchanged 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 five percent more attack speed unchanged 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 cool good I like that. So, shocked this is still here. Absolutely <laughs> shocked. Um, uh, static Shiv. <laughs> very little changes. Uh, yeah, nothing changes except the, uh, the Chain Lightning now deals. Oh. That's the same. Six targets. Hit six targets. What the fuck? So it only hits 6 now instead of up to 12, and it doesn't give increased damage to minions. Yeah. Magic damage. But I think it's okay. roughly kind of old static almost, not really, kind of. Yeah, 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 because it doesn't... I don't remember the exact stuff. It gives more attack damage than old static for sure, but... <clears throat> yeah, we'll have to see. I think we'll, we'll see if this finally uh, makes it so they don't have to edit it every patch, but I'm not... <laughs> Not optimistic. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. We'll see. <laughs> see what happens. Uh, okay. Razor up by 100 gold, up by 580. Um, everything unchanged beside that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, cool. The collector. Very similar, just five attack damage extra. Nice. Everything else the same. Good, good. Pretty straightforward there. Oh, wait. Leith did say lethality Ooh. went down or no? Oh, it says 18 to 16, wait. but unchanged. I don't know what that means. Okay, never mind. Okay, Sorry. sounds good. <laughs> this doesn't... <is> okay. <laughs> uh, Essence Watch Reaver up, up by 100 gold, and everything else is, says it's unchanged. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Questionable. Questionable. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Um, they did do a pretty big pass on the support item and item quests mm -hmm. um so i actually read a bunch about this um nice. in their, like, their dev That's blogs insane. but um so basically you get all the old all the old ones are gone they removed like all the old support items um so now every support buys this map the world atlas mm -hmm. um it's 400 gold you get 30 health 25% mana regen, 25% health regen. It's giving you gold over time, just like the other support items used to give. And then your quest is you earn 500 gold from this to transform it into the compass. And that gives you the ability to hold the uh, vision wards. So basically, um, hmm. okay. it, it's kind of like a catch-all. Like it does a little bit of everything there. Um, you gain gold, uh, you gain charges. So when you're near nearby ally champion, you consume a charge to earn gold via a couple methods. So you either damage an enemy champion nice. or structure, <laughs> you don't get to, or you, don't get to you kill a minion. Yep, whatever. exactly. So it's just like it's like a catch-all. So it's like all the support items kind of rolled into one. Sweet. Um, I like it. Then you get the compass. So that upgrades after you do the first quest. Um, you just get more stats mm, okay. and then, um, the gold generation is still the same. So it's, it's very much the same. You just get more stats, but 
it's not giving you like you don't have to index are you ap are you ad blah blah, blah. it's just like a catch-all still mm -hmm. um and you get the ability to hold the wards uh which is cool uh three you know your little ward charges and yeah, then nice. <clears throat> this is where it gets really crazy so this is the crazy part <laughs> um the bounty of worlds is the final upgrade it's this like crazy looking <laughs> treasure chest um and it is a in-between state that allows the item to upgrade into any of the five support items. Five? Um, yep. So basically, okay. when you get this treasure chest, you then open it. And uh, this is <laughs> this is what you can pick from. Wait, as a uh, note, all upgraded items will share the same stats with Differentiator being the upgrades mission below. Yes. Okay. So basically, you, you get these stats no matter what. You get the gold per second. Okay, You get cool. the regen and the health. So all that you're picking is like what pass if you want. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. So then, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll look at the five. So uh, Celestial Opposition. Um, this is Blessing of the Mountain. Uh, you get reduced damage by 35% from melee, 25% from range for two seconds after taking damage from a champion. And when the shield breaks, it unleashes a shockwave around you that slows enemies by 50%. Wow. Um, so, yeah, this is basically like a... All in champs? I feel like there's someone who who has... Leona, Alistar, Nautilus. Mm -hmm. Like a tanky, like, engaged champion, probably. Mm -hmm. I think. Because uh, you want to get into the mix of it, so that shockwave, like, catches... Yeah. Like, multiple kind, people, it's probably. It's almost like um, the hard CC rune. Can't yeah. Think of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um... So that's that. That one's pretty good for tank engage. Um, let's slowing see. Or, okay, solstice slay, slowing or immobil passive, slowing or immobilizing an enemy champion grants you and your nearby ally with the lowest amount of health, 120 bonus health and 90 movement speed. Wow, for four seconds, 20 second cooldown. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Yep. So it's just like you, you get some health nice. and you go Lots fast. Speed. Yeah. Um. You got this uh, blood song. So it gives you Spellblade passive. Okay. Uh, your next attack is enhanced with uh, additional... 50%, okay. Yep. Um, and the target has weaknesses. They take... Uh, wow. It applies exposed weaknesses, increasing the damage wow. they take by 12%. Yep. Okay. So that's obviously pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> obviously pretty good. Um, oh, you get Dreammaker. Dreammaker is pretty good. Look at this <laughs> okay. little guy. Gain a blue dream bubble and a let's get, uh, purple dream bubble with every eight seconds. Healing oh. and shielding other ally below is both dream bubbles below to them and empowers them for three seconds. Blue bubble reduces 140 incoming damage on the next hit. Wow. And purple bubble will grant, grants 90 bonus magic damage on the next hit. Wow. What? Wait, every eight seconds. Yep. Healing or shielding. Okay. Wow. Chanters so it's go like crazy. Uh... It's like a like a summon air summon airy on like steroids basically. Yeah, like super steroids. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, okay. yep. And then uh no it's not ZZ Rot, but it's a uh, Zazax <laughs> Realm Spike. Um Void Explosion, dealing ability damage to a champion, causes an explosion at their location that damages target and nearby enemies. Fifty Plus three percent max health, magic damage capped at three hundred against monsters. Um, nine to six second cooldown. Okay, per so this level. is the one so I'm can... gonna run on every support. Got it? Okay. Yeah, this is just like damage <laughs> amp that uh, that like does wow. max health damage. Okay. So, yep, there you go. Um, so I think as a support player, this kind of feels this looks really cool. Right? Pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, like the I like how this part of it is very like straightforward and then yeah. the decision you make is just like which of these passives fit what you need nice that's so, really cool that's cool yeah 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 um cool uh what do we got left here enchanter items no chem tech yeah. future fire good that item sucked <laughs> i hated that <laughs> item and then uh no chalice of harmony yeah but now so... supports don't have uh uh heal cut right or are they, uh, maybe they're adding one. We'll uh, maybe, maybe we get some. I don't know. Maybe it's in here. Um, 
Let's see. I did Zack Zack, so you do. Yeah, you All got right. this one. Glowing mode. <laughs> Total cost <laughs> 250 gold. Pretty cheap. Uh, five ability haste. Good. Nice. Yeah, that's straightforward. It's probably a weird. component. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, Dawn Core. 2,700 gold. That's a good name. Uh, bandle, two Bandal Glasses uh, to build this. Okay. Um, you get 40 ability power, 20 ability haste, 150 mana regen. Uh, the Dawn Core passive is 3% heal and shield power, 5 ability power per 100% base mana regeneration. Huh. And okay. you get Summoner Spell Haste. Uh, so you just get Summoner Spell Haste. Interesting. You just, you just get it. You just yeah, get just it with this free. item. So nice. uh, there you go. Oh, interesting, okay. interesting. Okay. Because of Helia down 100 it's still here gold. yeah all right um lots of mana regen it's unchanged i guess uh 10 more ap five more ability haste uh dissonance is removed i don't remember what that was um damaging a champion grants a soul shards all the same i think up to a maximum of three now instead of two and the thing is the same except it deals less magic damage yeah it's probably fine. You get three stacks now, so that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it also restores less health as well. But yes, yeah, you get you get a, a, an extra stack. But yeah, just nerfed a little bit, but it makes sense. It's not a mythic anymore, I guess. Pretty, pretty cheap, for, uh, a bit cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. These these don't really go hand in hand. I'll probably just do both of these. Uh, sure. Flowing water and ardent. Um, so they're both 2300 gold. Um, they build yes, about almost so almost the same build path. Um, so flowing water is going to give you 40 ability power, 125% mana regen, 15 ability haste, uh, the same 8% buff heal shield power. Uh, it loses the movement speed, and then its passive is. Uh, healing or shielding allied champions grants the user an allied champion 30 ability power and 10% movement speed uh, over three seconds. So that is. It gives you movement speed instead of ability haste, basically. And then yeah, the ability nice. power is basically the same, a slight nerf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And then Arden, I imagine, is going to be pretty much the same thing um except it keeps its movement speed it actually gives you uh yeah they buffed its stats yeah. they keep its movement speed and then this one gives the um attack speed instead of the ability power on the peel shield 20 bonus magic damage for four seconds just buffed all around um so actually this one's just like this one's better now. This one's just like buffed all around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is cool. And then this one is no ability haste slightly nerfed, maybe, but slightly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, but basically, you do this if it's an AD person you're buffing, and then you do this if it's an AP person you're buffing. It's kind of the true. The rule of thumb there. That's for but sure. For Arden's sure. looking nice. It's looking nice. nice. Okay. Uh, uh, starting items. We got uh, Doran's Blades moving to 3.5% lifesteal instead of Omnivamp. So, no okay. more Omnivamp. A little bit more, but uh, I think overall you're going to be healing less, I would say. Because you don't heal for abilities I now. I think, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Depends, and though. Doran's Ring. What is Doran's Ring doing? Uh, restore 1.25 mana per second. Gain 44% of this value as health if you, uh, okay. That was, I actually didn't realize it did that before. Yeah. So basically, uh, if, if you're, um, you're capped, it heals you. Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But also, um, but also, if you're like a not, can't use, if you're not a non mana champion, you can use oh, Thorin's Ring as an AP item still. Yeah. Good point. Vladimir, good point. Vladimir, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, Vlad. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and then I think we did all the items. Woo! Nice. Let's go. Round of applause. We yeah, are, round of applause uh, and uh. Welcome to uh, Patch Notes the movie, by the way. 
Yeah. Two hours uh, in. <laughs> yeah, you might have to do a two part release here. Oh, like, cut it in half and. Uh, it's going to take a while to process uh, the cut. <laughs> yeah, true. 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 <laughs> I think I'm just going to lump it on there. You release the director's cut. There you go. The, the Zack Snyder yeah. edition. <laughs> this, this is the Zack Snyder edition of Patrick's. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I guess. Uh, oh, this is this is fairly short section runes. Um, yeah, this should be too uh, pretty easy overall. Yeah, let's see what this is. Perfect timing rune is Good. gone, so no free stopwatch. I like it. Gotcha. Uh, you get triple tonic. tonic. So at level three, gain an elixir of Arvorous. Uh, that elixir gives you five true damage on hit against minions for 60 seconds. And at the end, you get 40 gold. Um, okay, what? so you get like three potions at different levels. So at level six, you get another potion, elixir of force. Uh, that gives you 20 adaptive force for 60 seconds. And then at nine, what the hell? You just get a skill point. Uh, 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 on use, gain a skill point. Huh? This does Bro, not this grant is so broken. Level. What? This everyone runs this, right? This is so broken. Gain a skill point. This does not grant a level or modify the rules around adding skill points into abilities. Yeah, you just get a free skill point, but you don't level up. That's all. But like, Can I put it into my ultimate. Probably not, right? It says it does no, not modify no. the rules. School. So it's just yeah. one of my basic abilities, yeah, probably. Basic. But this is so broken. What? Yeah. Everyone's uh, feels, running this. That feels more, almost more broken than a free stopwatch. This is not gonna way lie. more broken than a stopwatch. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, right? They're going to tune this. Yep. Just, like, delete this part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even the other stuff is kind of OP, not going to lie. Like, the other just, stuff is good, but You just this, get your I level like... quicker from level three on you get a level up quicker yeah. for 60 seconds and you yeah. gain four gold 40 gold what yeah okay all right okay anyways. uh anyways. tower adjustments <laughs> inner tower health going up by 400 health um inhibitor tower health up by 200 nexus tower health up by 300 Backdoor bonus now reduces true damage to towers rather than nullifying it entirely. Okay, so true damage does work now at least on backdoor um, bonuses when you, minions aren't around and stuff. Backdoor damage reduction amounts is 80% now. Okay. That seems good. So, uh, yeah, backdoor, towers, backdoor is, yeah. Cool. Good, good. No backdoors. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants it. changes. <laughs> Um, uh, it's going to be tough to know this so you actually feel it, but basically, um, they are trying to, I'll, I'll just go, I guess I'll go bullet by bullet. So, um, narrowing the Emerald tier, um, we believe that the new Emerald tier accomplished the goal of spreading out the ladder. Um, the range of skills within Emerald is a bit too wide, kind of like the problem they had with old Plat. Like, Plat 4 was way, way, way different than, like, Plat 1. Um, yeah. So they're trying to correct for that. Um, they got a lot of complaints about visible rank differences. So um, when we made promoting to new ranks easier in 2023, there weren't any adjustments to the demotions, which led to some players having a higher visible rank um then their actual mmr to correct this the moding has been made a little easier to help avoid situations where a player could have a visible rank of platinum but actually a silver mmr um not sure what that means i guess maybe your demotion shield will be less something like that mm -hmm. not sure like that. not sure um and then modified lp gains uh Plus minus 25% per game is what they introduced last year, and it's helped players move up and down quicker. Um, and they're happy with that. We've learned this isn't this amount of LP isn't sustainable in tiers emerald and above. Due to this, gains at emerald tier has been decreased. Okay, so if you're low elo like all of us, um, it'll still be 25, roughly 25 plus minus. But then once you get to emerald and above, it's gonna lessen. You're gonna get 20 plus minus. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. 
All right. Well, we'll just see how all that feels. I don't know. I feel like I, I'll get a sense if this feels good or not once we play those placements. Um, and they just said, don't worry, placements will be better. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, all right. Fist pumps. Hmm. Cool. Whoa. It's got like combined. Yeah, look, if you all do your fist bump at once, then you... That's cool. I like that. Wait, what does it say at the, above it? Fist bumps. Fist bump. Okay, just fist bumps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, fist bumps. That's right. Riot Games, whose logo is a fist bump, has added an interactive fist bump. Oh, is cool. that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> I thought I Riot Games was supposed to be like, uh, you know, it's a riot and they're breaking glass. That's it... what I thought too. Okay, sure. Anyway, I, I don't think anyone ever thought it was a fist bump. But yeah, I, I don't. I don't think so either. But all right. Yeah, makes all sense. Right. I guess. I see um, a whole new light. Wait, what's the key? Uh, hockey. Did... Uh, hockey, hockey, hockey. You. You. I think. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. You. Um, I did read a little bit about this in the dev blog. Um, dynamic music. Basically. I'm they didn't reveal too much. Yeah. Well, you. I'll, I'll sum it up real quick. Uh, Baron has boss music now. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Sweet. Yeah. So like when you go fight an epic monster, the music changes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Appreciate that. Um, and they're just making some in-game quests, like more in-game quests. And this press and it's Oh, you know how there's like nice. the little like yeah, like yeah, Leona yeah. takes they're just adding like uh Jinx I think they're adding and like Caitlyn and yeah yeah cool yeah 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 so nice. they're just adding like more of those which it's is funny cool. when yeah those are like it's good yeah they're like fun fun little uh, fun little things so. cute like oh they're saying look these are the ones they're adding up oh, on the first pass nice. like Huey and Jin are gonna have one uh Belveth and Jax death okay I'm gonna have to read through these later. Yeah, these are cool, but like, yeah, Huey and Jin will have one. Boveth and Jax will have one. Like, you can see, look, there's like nice. Nasus Renekton, Shen Great. Zed. That'll be cool. Nice. Shen Zed. That's um, cool. And I'm sure they'll probably add like more over time, but that's, I like that. Nice. Okay. Um, wow. If you care about like, ARAM. Specific, like, actually, like, uh, good stuff, like, good buffs that you get for doing this. Yeah. Kind yeah, before crazy. they were kind of just like cosmetic, but now it's like, yeah. oh, this is uh, this is pretty okay. It's kind of crazy. Okay, cool. All right, what's after this? Just uh, ARAM. Oh yeah, if you want to see ARAM, I don't really care too much. They actually don't care either. Due to a large amount of changes, we aren't changing ARAM. All right, <laughs> they don't okay. care. Okay, <laughs> progression. What's this? Uh, Career stats will be reset. Split one. That makes sense. Legendary win games with legendary items. Okay, so adding new challenges. Cool. That's not, yeah, there's like the fine. challenges and stuff. Nice. Did they fix spectator? Uh, so much for no. spectator delay. Two and a half minutes now, not three. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then air spectator delay is 60 seconds to spectator for a ram. Okay, that's really quick. And then yep. team fight tactics to spectator is 60 seconds. Arena spectator is 60. Okay. All right. So the la up to the last five minutes of gameplay prior to when they started spectating. Huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, Mythic shop. Anything crazy here? Uh, not on this patch. It's all starting fourteen two. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're not worried about that. Uh, KD no, Ari. No, that'll go. Guardian Ooh. Niche Pursuit Star Guardian Nika. Winter Plus Warwick. It's gonna be Dark fourteen four. Longer. Space Group Nami. Dark Star Cho. Okay. Anyways. All right, cool. we got quality life changes and bug fixes. The skins actually do look kind of nice, not going to lie. All right, let's see, let's see, let's look. The cast, I haven't looked the in-game, I just mean the splash, but the cast yeah, and yeah, pure yeah. and vein look pretty sick, I think. I yeah, cards, they right? do. He's, yeah, he's, slick. he's not bad, he's not bad. Pretty slick. Actually, I like this one better than maybe this one. Yeah, I think so, too. But maybe the in-game looks better, I'm not sure. Maybe in-game, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> uh, all right, you should run a contest if someone makes it to the two-hour mark here <laughs> through the whole video. I know. Um, well, if you've made it this far, uh, leave a comment saying, um, "What should we say?" Have, have him say. 
something specific? Uh, if you made it this far, then what was one of those typos? What was it? Oh, what was it? Oh, it's, it's the uh, attack one, right? Or... Yeah, the attack one. It was like 55, 55 attack. 45 to 55. 45 attack damage to 55 attack. I think yeah. it was marksman items. I think you're right. Let's, let's go to like the bottom-ish. Yeah, it was like one of the last ones. Yeah, yeah, yep. Guardian Angel. If you've if you've gotten to this point in the video, type in attack damage colon forty five dash fifty five attack or something like that. You know, something along those lines. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for watching uh, Patch <laughs> Notes fourteen point one. Uh, the movie, the Zack Snyder cut. Um, yeah. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. At least his worked. Um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll post the, uh, maybe I'll post my version later <laughs> of the page <laughs> where it's just, uh, yeah. Riot Games' um, computer address. Broke. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Love it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining me, Drew. And we'll catch you yeah. a couple weeks from now for the next notes. Uh, probably do some stuff around um lcfs if we have time but we'll have to see for sure but yeah do some power rankers or something maybe that'd be fun yeah that could be cool all right thank you guys for watching catch you later bye